Hi, I'm late. Sorry, I'm here now. Here, let's go play games now. As ever, stream is now. Power strip. Let's go. We're gonna play a game. Let's go back here. Pick Sorry, Bruce. Sorry, Bruce Willis. Sorry. Fuck. Ah. Fuck, I forgot Sylvester Stallone's name. Hang on, we gotta restart the stream. Oh, even the theme song's not even playing anymore. Damn it. This is a present from me. Hang on, hang on. I got this. 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 That might be too much. I think I got too much of it. Okay, we're good. We got it. I like how the only one I clicked that didn't actually work was the one I started with. That's the only one that didn't play. Great. Huh. <sighs> How's everybody doing? Sorry we started late. Uh, you can probably guess what I was doing. That's right, watching another motherfucking Bruce Lee movie. <laughs> Uh, yeah, I was watching a movie, and then I had some food that, uh, made me stomach angry, but I'm here now. Let's do it. Why are you here, though? Ryu, why are you here? Shouldn't you be watching a Bruce Lee movie? They're good movies. It's probably safer than getting shot. I would assume a movie is safer than being shot. That seems... Pretty straightforward, actually. The Origami Gamer kills Ryu with kindness and bullets and says... Nothing, because my notes slipped away. Oops. Uh, today is Mario Day, and it also happens to be my birthday. Time to give you money, because it, that's how birthdays work around here. Oh, happy birthday, Origami. Also, happy Mario Origami. Which would you rather, happy birthday or happy Mario? You can only have one, and rumor has it Mario dies at the end of March, so you may want to pick the birthday instead of the Mario. Poor Mario. Yeah, so for those that don't know, a bunch of stuff that is Mario related is going away at the end of this month, so I guess that everyone's been joking that means Mario's dying at the end of the month. He will be missed. Oh boy, that overdone joke. Oh, you expect original jokes here? Jesus Christ, are you new? Please help! We're stranded! We were hiking and lost our bearings. Jesse, the winds are too strong to get a chopper up there. You'll have to rescue them on foot. Gabe and Hal, veteran rescue climbers, are summoned to help the stranded hikers, but unexpectedly discover a plane crash. Gabe, what happened to the hikers? Al, I don't know. Let's go find out. Gabe, Gabe is Stallone, as you probably guessed. Travers, we've lost three metal boxes in the plane crash. Quaylen, you know, suits, pants, socks, a hundred million dollars, the usual stuff. Travers, you two have the expertise to help us get them back. Shall we get started? Travers, the lights on this tracking device show exactly where the money is. Quaylen. Recognize these locations, or should I jar your memory? Travers, get the money! Quaylen, the faster you find the bags, boys, the bigger the finder's fee. Gabe, right, all the bullets we can eat. Phoenix! Yes. Yes. <laughs> I need to get that money to save Al. I just hope I can get to it before they do. Phoenix! Let's go. So, uh, this game is somewhat notorious around here, at least it was back in the apartment days, because we played the Sega CD version of this game, which has a... what can only be described as a Turbo Tunnel-esque scene for snowboarding? And, uh... This one has... does not have that, which is A, a disappointment, but B... Might be for the best, because that scene was fucking brutally difficult. Is this Atari Jaguar? No, this is the Super Nintendo version. 
Uh, this was picked by Inchone because Inchone actually gifted me this copy of the game specifically because we actually played the uh, the Sega CD version. All right, let's cut him good. Cut him good. As long as we can handle this knife, we'll be happy. No, don't let him get more knives. He already has four. He's got too many knives. The man is made of knives. I like how we have this pouty, like, blue steel looking picture of Stallone in the corner. It's perfect. Let's walk a little strut. That good old Stallone strut. Kill all the people with knives. And now, platforming. There we go. So I actually never watched Cliffhanger. For as much as I like Stallone movies, I actually never watched this one. The I don't know, the gist of the story is that uh, Gabe is basically a, a mountain climber, but also like a search and rescue uh, personnel. And, oh shoot, what's his name? Third Rock from the Sun guy, John something. He was that really. He was really good in Dexter. Uh, I can never remember his damn name. John Lithgow. Thank you, Chad. I knew you guys know. So John Lithgow is the villain of this movie, and uh, he's. I think he was Quaylen. Uh, he's the guy that they crashed this plane full of money, and now they want to get it back. But uh, they're stranded on this huge mountain, so they end up tricking Gabe and Hal to actually go get the money for them, and it just becomes this whole thing of oh, oh whoop. It becomes this whole thing of. Uh, them having to burn the money to stay alive because it's so fucking cold on top of the mountain. Because Stallone is basically just running around in this fucking tank top. This is actually pretty accurate to how he looks in the movie from what I've seen. If you like weird 90s action movies, I've heard it's actually pretty enjoyable. But I don't know how good the actual... The games are a mixed bag. Like, they're all pretty much the same game, except for the NES one. The NES one is very different. I don't know if it's... I wouldn't say comparable quality, but... There is some quality involved. Alright, warm up our hands. Because it's time to cliff. Hang. Err. Let's go. We have to go up. The NES one is basically a colorized version of the Game Boy one. Oh, there is a Game Boy version. I wasn't aware of that. So we need to dodge these snipers. Although, I guess that's more of a, a rifle or shotgun since it's firing up two shots. But they do a lot of damage, as you would expect uh, rifles to do. So we just need to basically know where to climb to make sure they're pointing the wrong way when we climb. Unfortunately, we had to take a hit no matter what, basically. It's kind of the crappy part about this. All right, we made it to the top. Let's get knife boy. Give me my knife. Turn around. Warm up our hands again. And now, where we're going to get a game over. This is what is in this version of the game instead of the snow, the uh, the snowboarding scene. If the snow avalanche gets you, you're dead. But everything hurts you. It is a memorization game. It sucks ass. It's so bad. I think we might have gotten through this once. But the snowboarding section in the Sega CD version is infinitely longer. It's disgusting how long that section is. We fucked up the last jump. Are you my brother Rex Racer? But we know we can do it. We got to the end. I can see the resemblance even under that mask. Egg. 
Oh, too far. Thankfully, the iframes are surprisingly generous in this one, and, like, Stallone can fucking leap! Look at this shit! Look at him fucking go! The man is part gazelle! Alright, we just gotta be ready for the last jump at the end. Got it! Really? Hi, Rosa. Hey, Quinn, I got the first case of money, and I'm gonna for the you second one. You better not lay a finger on Hal, or you can kiss your muddy mouth. goodbye. Also, Rosa John is here for some reason. I don't know if she's got up on the mountain. Don't come down, Gabe! They're after you! Okay. Hi, Jumny. Hi. Jumny is Rosa John's number one fan and, and says, Proton Kiss, happy everything, John. Aw, Jumny, thank you. You're the best. You're the best, buddy. Thank you, Jumny. I don't know what this terrible Stallone is supposed to be. Oh, shit. Oh, no. They've learned how to hug. Now I'm in trouble. Oh, shit. Actually, I am in trouble. Give me that gun. God, this guy's really good at hugging. Oh, shit. Good thing he's not immune to bullets. No, but he's good at hugging. Get out of here. I don't want any more hugs. No! Stolen was never that good at hugging. Is that the sound my kicks make? That's the sound my kicks make. Stolen, what's in your boots? Oh, there's like a weird combo system in this too. Like I've got roundhouse kicks. I've got shoving. Drop kicks. I've got kicks that stops hugs. Oh shit. Drop a knife, drop a knife. My sword. Okay, we have one life left. Keep him away. Just keep him away. Oh, we got two lives. Oh, crap. But now we have the platform. Oh, this sucks. No. Okay, we're fine. All right. We're doing good. We're doing good. Swing your sword. Oh, that was a bad idea. Look out for the hugging guy. The hugging guy's back. He really just wants to show kindness. No kindness for Stallone. Oh. Oh. Whoa, barely. All right, hands are warm. That's a checkpoint, too. I think they just, they were just really generous on that one, let's be real. I remember the final boss of this game is a helicopter. So, I mean, this game, let's be real, this game is just meant to be really fucking stupid, but then again, that's kind of what a lot of, like, action Stallone movies are like, so. Can't be too surprised. Whoop. Oh, they gave me that one too. Oh shit, they gave me a knife in the gut. No, no more hugging! I'm only stabbing. That's not a stab. Oh no, hug guy. Hug bees, get away. Okay. We're doing okay. If I think if we get the 200,000, we might get another one up. If we can stay alive long enough to get it. Oh, God. Okay. Whoa, every time. Okay, we're doing good. We're doing really good. I think this is the farthest I've ever made it in this game. Okay, 
Come on, come on, come on, walk in, walk in, walk in. You can stay there. You live there now. Enjoy your day. Okay, hug guy's back. Looks like a really chunky Fraser Crane. Oh, who are you? What is that move? Alright, good. Got them both. Checkpoint? Nope. It's the the green camo version of the of the other guy now. I'm keeping the knife. Fuck that. The gun looks good, but this knife's been doing me some some good service. This oh boy. Way too late. Three shots from kitchen gun, and it sparkles like new. I love you, kitchen gun. Oh boy, and we didn't get that one up, did we? Oh shit! What the fuck? Who is this guy? Held on. I really wish I had my knife now. He's fucking ripped though. Look at this guy. Once I get him back on screen. Look at this guy. Look at that fucking belly flop. That's a masterful belly flop. Come on, do it again. Yeah! That little splat at the end is perfect. Do it again, do it again, do it again. Yeah! What? What? Is, is that an attack? I think that's an attack. Oh, that is a definitely attack. Can I not hurt him during that? He's he's just doing this. He's he's just doing this now. Yeah, I can't hurt him during that. What the fuck? What? Uh What? <laughs> what am I supposed to do? What am I supposed to do? Do I catch him at the end of a run? That's exactly what I have to do. He'll never expect me to also run. What a stupid boss fight. Well, he's dead now. We'll never see him again. Briefcase number two. Hey, Quaylen. I've got your second case of money. That makes about sixty million dollars. Hell better be perfectly safe or else. The storm's getting worse. I better get to Douglas Cabin. I don't know why I'm telling you where I'm gonna be. Frank, I'm getting worried. The storm is getting stronger. And stronger. Frank, you think something's wrong? Jesse, I don't know. Drop me off at Douglas Cabin. Gabe and Hal have to go there to escape the cold. I'll wait for them in the cabin. Come back for me later. Copy, Jesse. Over and out. Hey, Peter. Let's go to Douglas Cap. God damn it. God damn. Oh, he's got a gun. This guy wants hugs, and that guy's got a gun. But if I punch them both at the same time, they can't block for some reason? Well, I guess they also can't block bullets, so. I have nine shots left. Yeah, 
And I'm out of shots. Ooh, but I got my knife back. Let's fucking go. Okay. As long as there's no trick spaces there, and it definitely looks like there is, we'll be fine. Oh god, he's just a normal enemy now! No more! No more running! I'm not chasing you! Oh god, you're back already! I just stabbed you to death! So there's one weird thing about this game I've noticed, and it's that if I just kind of keep slashing constantly, no one runs towards me. It's like they're scared. Probably because I'm wielding a knife, if I had to guess, but... I believe this stuff instantly kills me, too. So I've got to be very careful in my timing on those jumps, and they get worse later. Uh, whoop! Cool. Game's called Cliffhanger. Can't even cliffhang. It quail and I fell off a cliff. I'll be right back. Alright, we got our seven lives back. I think we have two continues total, maybe three. So we might be okay. Come on, Buff Frazier. Come on. Come on. I think the guy with the gun actually died off screen. Oh, shit! No. No more hugs. No hugs for Stallone, please. Please stop blocking. Please stop blocking. It makes this take forever. Oh, you are still alive. I won't be if I keep getting shot. Oh, we can kick farther. Is there a comment for being us for the like these have some sort of grab? Yeah, uh, Stallone doesn't have one. The enemies seem to. But as far as I can tell, Stallone does not. I really feel like that part was gonna give out if I step on it. All right. Wait your turn. There's plenty of stabbings for everybody. Including your twin brother. Good spot, get in a good spot. Oh no! At least make it to the platforming section. Okay, good, back to the platforming section. Okay, this was just a big leap. There we go. Speaking of big leaps. There's our big floppy boy right there. Look at him go. Ew, it's on the space I need to be on. Oh, God, no. Oh. Is it four? One, two, three, four. Go! Oh! <laughs> This is a present from me to you. Look at your left. What? My leg hit it. Well, friends, I look forward to meeting you people again. Go, 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 go. Whoa! I like how close that is. Oh, there we go. We made it. And now more climbing. Oh, God, really? No.
Oh, this sucks. Okay, good. If I land on, if I'm above a platform though and it's not off screen, I'm fine. Unless that happens. Oh, th these are actually checkpoints though. Sweet. I'm dead. Oh, maybe not. Oh God, this sucks. Are you my brother Rex Racer? <laughs> What's the point of this ledge? I can't even step on this one. Can't even climb here. Uh, Gabe? Get Gabe! Dude, this... This sucks. This sucks. Oh. Oh, of course we were that close to the top. Oof. All right. Back to punching. Or belly flopping, I guess. Oh, Jesus Christ! Alright, we need that knife. Oh, shit, he knows the belly flop now while I'm swinging. They're learning! Oh, shit. It's his brother. Red pants, brother. Wait, so can I just do this then? Yep, okay, that's actually just way easier. Don't even need to chase. Okay, what's the timing on this? One. Two. Just two. Uh oh, I'm on autopilot. This is bad. Autopilot usually means I'm gonna get screwed over. <laughs> Damn it. Okay, so it's the last one I need to worry about. Which is the one I'm on right now. It's two again. That's what got me last time. Whew. Is this safe? Yep. Okay, one, two, just two. One, two, again, also two. If I can get this close, like that's touching my sprite. Let's go. All right, we made it through. Uh, there we go. Just for more jumping. Um, knife guy? Knife, knife guy? There we go. Motherfucker, does break! I knew it! Oh shit, there- Really? I don't remember this! Uh, 
Are these guys in the movie? Look, I know I've been watching a lot of Bruce Lee movies lately, but I don't think we need to put them in everything. I don't think we need martial arts in every game I play. Oh, there we go. That's the moneymaker. Look at this. Look at this. Shit, I'm stuck. No, 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 I don't want to have to do it. The whole stage over. There is one continue? Ooh. Ooh. Even the the CD one has more than one continue, I'm pretty sure. Ooh. That's mean. Yo, shout out to David Jaffe being a part of this game. You know, creator of God of War and Twisted Metal. Fun fact, this game does have a cheat code to be able to fight against a player, too. Ooh, neat. Humble beginnings, John. I mean, yeah, you're, you're fair. That, that's a fair point. All right, well, we lost. I think that's going to do it for that. Inchon, thank you for picking this game, and thank you for giving me this game as well, since you're the one who did that. Uh, that is the farthest I've ever gotten in that game, because we never got there in the Sega CD version, I'll tell you that much. Oh boy. We got credits, that's a clear. Not quite, not quite. We didn't find the, the third briefcase of money. I should have stuck to my guns and just got him, kept him in the loop. That damn climb is what makes it worse. How is he going, it feels like he's going way faster too. Still get shot. Just look at this garbage, man. They didn't even want to show the rest of that. They knew how bad of a job that part was. All right. Tonight is power trip. So here's how this is going to work. Is what I would say if I actually remember to get my uh, power trip transition on screen. Oops. Here's how this works. I'm gonna set a keyword, and you guys can enter the raffle by typing in the magic keyword, which is gonna be exclamation Phoenix. <laughs> Because we played a Stallone. Uh, type in exclamation Phoenix, and then you will get entered into a raffle. Whoever wins this raffle gets to pick the next game we play on stream. Inshone won the last raffle at the end of last month's power trip, so that's why we played Cliffhanger to start. It does not have to be all uppercase. It can be all lowercase, but... If you're doing the Phoenix, you, you really do need to have it all in uppercase. It just, it makes, it makes it complete, basically. I will give you guys 60 seconds and then I'll roll it. Whoever wins it gets to pick the game we play next. The rules are on the side there, as you can see. Power Trip rules. Pick a game from my backloggery. That's backloggery.com slash protonjohn. RPGs and games that normally have slow starts are allowed. Just, you know, I will probably have to go through the starting area of an RPG if I haven't played it before. Enter the raffle code that John decides on, which was Phoenix. Uh, don't spam the code because it will actually remove you from the raffle if you keep doing that. If you win the raffle, type the game name and console in the chat. Some consoles, including Arcade, Virtual Boy, 32X, uh, Atari Lynx, and Wonderswan, I can't stream due to I don't have the hardware for it. Uh, so just check exclamation, do not pick to see what I cannot stream. Otherwise, 
One minute now. Let's see who's winning it. We have 497 people currently entered. See you next! I need to go find the clip of Stallone yelling Phoenix now. It's it's from Demolition Man. It's from a completely different Stallone movie and game. But it's it's great. It is one of my favorite Stallone sound effects. It is a classic. It also helps that I really like Demolition Man. That's a really fun movie. I always thought he was yelling penis. A lot of people said that uh, both as a joke and both as you can kind of hear it like that. But the main villain of the game, of the game, of the movie, is uh, a dude named Phoenix, played by Wesley Snipes. So that's why he's yelling Phoenix. Simon Phoenix, there we go, that was the first name. All right, let's roll it. The winner of the first power trip of the night is 55 Delta. Yo Delta, congratulations. What are we playing next? Should show up here in the middle. Let's see what happens. Give him a sec for a stream delay to catch up in case they haven't seen it yet. Oh, why? Oh, okay, fair enough. Kerbal Space Program. Oh. I feel this is somewhat fitting, since we have a Captain Harlick avatar, but still. Oh. Wow, John, dial back the enthusiasm a bit. We've streamed this once. It went bad. <laughs> really bad. So that's, that's why I, I'm uhing so hard. I may have done a bad. <laughs> we'll find out, Delta, don't worry. Define bad. I think that might have been the stream Impeach came from. Like, yeah. Uh, let's see what we can do. All right, uh, let's drop some eggs, and then we'll go to break. I'll grab some cocoms, and we'll see how this goes. Bramnet, Gentleman Lucas, Padawan Becca, Inchone, and Tread322. Thank you all for the gift subs and sub bombs. Everyone else. Yeah, I can read this. CD Chow for 41, Brayden J. Hall for 50, Oblivious B. Flat for 33, TK Frant for 54, Glowpeld for 16, Henrath for 35, X Aaron for 40, Hyaryu for 42, Voltaic Plato for 43, Gophers Nuts 38 for 5, Zero Flame 16 for 43, Etrian Persona. Uh, for 32. Luigi Fan 219 for 3. Inchon for 56. I wouldn't miss Power Trip for the world. <laughs> Hopefully, you got your money's worth, Inchon. Dragon Tamer 2002 for 12. Warrior Fire for 43. Dark Dream 7 for 71. TNT 175 for 38. Dark Fire Yoshi for 53. Spirit of Water Montaru for 35. Sabrai uh, for 45. Glitchman 42 for 40. Kaboom Goes Maximus for 43. Bomber Think for 25. Tomoyo for 60. Sketches a Day for 27. Fun Stuff Avenue for 6. Damon Katamaru. For 43, Imploder for 42, Flying Tango for 74, Pogi Champ for 13, Gamer Owen 64 for 23, uh, Trinosaur for 11, Sagami Ido for 14, Random Percentage for 51, Hot the Score Bunny for 9, uh, Psychmire for 8, The Boom 1 for 8, Carbonated for 80, Dread 322 for 4, Devolukian. Uh, for 42, Squadalogai for 22, Nards of Doom for 44, D Nexus for 7, Peacemaker 2488 for 30, Dan Genesis for 87, Little Glitch Game for 36, Bubba 1995 MV for 60, 
alongside Xenotype C for 76, Cobalt the Fox for 20, Cobalt the Fox for 20 again. Weird, one had a message and one didn't. And Lodestar Mage for 34. Thanks for subbing, everybody. Your eggs tonight. When John says your name wrong, oh no. S-I-E-C-K-M-E-Y-E-R. That's not Seekmeyer? Is it Syekmeyer? Seekmeyer. Okay, Seekmeyer. No worries. I mean, at this point, I feel like it's tradition for me to screw up someone's name numerous times. Yeah, even my own mods are like, you get used to it, trust me. Sorry, Mio. A proud tradition. God damn it, you guys. All right, let's go to eggs. Eggs tonight are courtesy of the following people, folks. Let's, wow. Did I not clean? No, these are all new. These are all new. Still with, it is I, Asura. Hello, my name is Wario. Oh How God! What are you doing today? I am here <laughs> to play a video game. Are you? Hooray, let us go together and find all my treasure so we can win. And hopefully the GameCube doesn't break again because that's why John was late starting today. Because this always happens. I feel really bad for Asura in that situation. <laughs> Private Butter with Just Play John's Boob Story Ruined? Shit! Just play your fucking music! Oh. Yeah, so I had to. Today oh, I had to put on. That's right. Uh, Reese Boob got me the bra lust. and stuffed it, and then I had a corset <laughs> on as well. Wait, wait, wait. So. Did you, are, are, are you using the, the, the gift that. Fuck! I was listening to that. Ah, oh, the band is too small. Okay. Wait, hold the, the phone. The band is. It... All right. This is from last night's stream over on Tom's stream. Uh, we were. I was talking about how I had to start prepping for the Rosa John cosplay we have to do for charity. So uh, Reese was helping me out with the uh, with the bra and the uh, waist trainer I have now. So we were talking about that. That and then. Also, somewhat adjusted into a weird way. Also, no, I don't think Dan ever figured out how bra sizes work, apparently. I think he's still confused about that. Sorry, Phil. Uh, nerd with Wario sends Mario to Minecraft. It's me, Ma! Get out of here! Yeah! Excellent! That's how we got to Minecraft. Negative Pro with a follow-up to my comic on Monday. I'm sorry, Cole. Please leave a message after the tone. Hey, hi, Cole. How's it going? Hey, listen, don't ask how I got this number, uh, perks of being in the BVA. But, um, listen, listen. Bear had me close the Whooperverse portal because he thought it would be a waste of time and then my plan was stupid, even though they managed to pop, like, 5,000 of those little tiger zits. Well, here's the thing. You kind of have to be a little bit careful when trying to close the Whooperverse portal, because if you don't do it properly, you can run the risk of it opening somewhere else, and, well, I ran a few calculations, and it's likely the location that it's going to reopen is in your house. Don't panic, don't panic. Like I said, there's a chance, and it's pretty low, like around 99%, or maybe 69%. I honestly don't remember. I probably just got 69 on the brain. Thanks, Jumny. Anyway, if it does what? happen, just stay calm. The whoopers will generally return back home by their own. It could take a while for that to happen, though, so just be patient. Um, <laughs> oh, dang it, what else should I try and tell him? Most phone oh, messages are two minutes long. Nervous. I really hope I didn't mess this up. If I did mess this up, I apologize in advance, and... Ugh. 
just stay happy around the whoopers if they do arrive, and hopefully they won't, like, spray your face every ten seconds. And don't worry too much. It might take a while before that portal oh opens. God, maybe still like a minute. Five there's minutes, still a or minute. worst case scenario, one second. But that's Negative, generally the punch really line? low. But then again, given the John luck around here, it's probably more common than we think. Ugh. Look, look, uh, like I've already said, I'm sorry. I'm going to go just play some ranked league and hopefully take my mind off of this and hopefully can find a way to keep those whoopers company in the meantime until they are ready to leave because they'll leave on their own. Don't worry. It'll take a while. They're derpy, but their smiles will definitely cheer you up because, come on, whoopers always bring happiness to the world. Am I right? Even if it's like a billion of them, it'll still be keep... <laughs> I'm just going to hang up now. Make before I make this worse. <laughs> I'm sorry in advance, Cole. Liam! Liam, thank you for the raid, buddy. Hopefully your stream was good. I also missed Zarv wins uh, raid earlier as well. Sorry about that. Thanks for the raid, everybody. Uh, let's go to break! You showed up at the perfect time for us to leave! We're gonna go to break. When we come back, we're gonna be playing the next game on Power Trip, which... Oh, God damn it! Which was Kerbal Space Program. <laughs> See you guys in a bit. looking through my Steam list. Kerbal, Kerbal, Kerbal. <laughs> Playtime! Eight minutes. Let's get that to 16! <laughs> Actually, when was it we even did this? Hang on, let me check the, the stream sheet. in the apartment, which means it would have been 2015 at the latest. Yep. May 17th, 2015. It was a fortune cookie game. <laughs> wow! It got impeached for Battletoads for NES. And it followed up Hercules The Legendary Journeys on N64. What a banger of a stream that was, apparently. 
Wow, look at- okay, there a lot of shit was in this stream. Pony World 3! Saints Row Cat Out of Hell! Hercules at Legendary Journeys, Kerbal Space Program, Battletoads, Viscera Cleanup Detail, Santa's Rampage, Crypt of the Necrodancer, and Metal Storm. What a list. What a list. Dan and Ailita on CoCom tonight. Yeet. What caused Kerbal to be impeached? I don't remember exactly because it was like six years ago. Uh, but from what I can remember, it was the absolute complexity of it combined with me never having played the game anymore. Everyone was like, yeah, this was a terrible idea. You're not going to get into the fun part in a cookie slot. So Chad impeached it. That's all I can remember. Ah. That sounds right, to be honest, because, like, Kerbal's not a game you just jump into for your first time on a stream in half an hour. And, yeah, pretty much that. Like, Kerbal was fully out at that point, right? It wasn't still in early access. Uh, let me look it up right now, actually. I'm on... Uh, oh, yeah, you, you find somewhere to check, and I'll check Wiki. Oh, I was on Wiki. <laughs> That's where I oh. went to. Chicky, uh, Chicky, Wiki threw me at the sequel for some reason. Uh, uh, Wikipedia is saying 2015, like April 2015. So it was and the stream out, was out. May 2015. So that either was when it hit early access or, you no, know, the game was released out of beta on April 27, 2015. So yeah, that was the full release. Huh. Interesting. So you're going to make a penis rocket, right? I mean, we'll be lucky if we have anything that flies, so... <laughs> we'll see. Uh, let's read some donos while we're waiting for Alita to hop on. Muffum says, don't read out loud. Got it. And, uh, yeah, I picked it up. Thanks. It's in the cookie now. Captain Joe says, well, from having to deal with COVID in January to actually getting my first dose of the vaccine Saturday morning. Man, what a ride to this point. Yo, that's good to hear, Joe. Glad you got that Let's vaccine. Go. Anonymous with the one. Thank you for Anonymous. Uh, Jumney with the, the Rosa John. Playful Piano says, oh, hey, a John stream on my birthday as well. Turning 22 today, and boy, has this past year been a year. Can't wait to see your return to YouTube, too, as well as return of Future John. Hope you and Reese are doing well, too. Yeah, for those who didn't hear, uh, tomorrow is when the YouTube channel uh, has Let's Play videos going up again. There's going to be two videos a week. One main Let's Play video going up and uh, a highlight reel or a side LP video going up on Sunday. So Thursdays and Sundays are the two days that the main channel will get videos now. That'll probably be going up... I think I'm looking at around 4 o'clock Mountain Time, 6 o'clock Eastern, because that way it doesn't get in the way of TRG upload or Emil's upload. John, yes, I'm so excited. Oh, thank you, Haruka. 
Arika, well, you joined Reese's well. stream, but were you there when I was taking taking over her avatar, or was, did you just show up just as I stepped away? Emil is gonna upload finally. Oh, uh, no, he's still on break. He's still not. He's still working on videos. Sorry, I was just making sure he wasn't. I wasn't in his time slot. Basically, is what I'm saying. I joined just as you stepped away. Damn it. You took over Reese after? Yeah, no, for some reason, Reese was like, come upstairs while I'm streaming. And she's like, okay, I have to go do something. Take over my avatar. So she gave me access to her avatar, which she learned quickly was a mistake. It seems you only upload when Emil takes long breaks between uploads. I've noticed that too? <laughs> that is unintentional. That is so unintentional. So are you telling me that we now have body swap Rosa John in the Johnverse now? Oh, did you that took a, over Hang on, Reese? hang on. Is that actually a clip? It doesn't look like the link worked. No, uh, yeah, that clip didn't work. Sorry, Butter. No, there we go. Butter's got the right link now. John has possessed his horse wife. <laughs> hang on, give me a second. Oh. <laughs> of course it was this clip. Hang on, let me let me show you. Cocon beats up for you, by the way. Yep, I'm on it. <laughs> I was making her hair move. I didn't even notice the breast motion until you said that. <laughs> I didn't. I seriously was just staring at the hair. Don't, don't fucking lie. <laughs> all right, all right, that's enough. You've had enough fun. Get okay, off. fine, fine, fine. I'll turn back to normal. You didn't get me fucking sick. Bye. <laughs> 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 this is why I can't be trusted with a Rosa John VTuber. This is why I can't be trusted with that. Au contraire, Jonathan. <laughs> no, no, because then if I get a Rosa John VTuber, f first off, people are going to be like, can we do the bits thing, like the bit alert? And that's going to get me in trouble. Uh, secondly, uh, I, if I did get a VTuber avatar, I, I would want both. I would want regular me and Rosa, so I could just swap back and forth between the two. And no, that would be double do. the money. <laughs> no, here's what you do for VTuber Rosa John. You start big, but as the bits come in, it gets smaller to fuel the alert. <laughs> I'm on to something here, John. This is why you should have VTubers of all your alts. Yeah, we'll get Hydra in there. All you'll see is like their belly button. Be perfect. Join the dark side, bro. Become VTuber. No, I I don't think I don't think the internet would trust trust me with that. That's too much power. I feel like the Rosa John avatar might cause you issues like Hajime did. Didn't if Hajime is the VTuber I think I'm thinking of, wasn't she literally talking about her fat tits as she lovingly put it? Constantly. Her big mommy milkers. Something like that. If that's Big the if that's the VTuber I'm thinking of, she she was definitely definitely goading on the internet. <laughs> he made the love of my life. <laughs> uh, give me like two minutes. Uh, my my cat Franklin's bugging me. He wants food. I'll be right back. Go for it. Every donation changes you to a different Rosa or a different alt. That would be neat, but holy shit, that would be expensive. Did I ever get the one that I sent you working? No, I unfortunately didn't mess around with the program, Angels. I'm sorry. I, I've been... You kind of sent that when I was focusing on the YouTube stuff, trying to get that back up, so that kind of took priority over everything. VTuber fund? No, 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 no VTuber fund. We're good. With how much gear I, I saw Reese needed for her VTuber? Mm, I'm good. I already have to turn into real life Rosa John. I don't think I could handle turning also into virtual Rosa John. It's also why I'm f afraid of getting, like, a VR set. Because I know the second I get a VR set, someone's gonna make a 3D model of Rosa John that I have to use in VR chat and Beat Saber and everything else.
funds for VTuber simping funds. <laughs> I'm so glad that VTubers became a thing now and not during the something awful in the early Red Supreme days. Oh god, it would be intolerable if it happened back then, yeah. Yeah, Haruka, how much stuff do you have for yours? Because, like, you've got pretty good tracking on yours. I don't think you have hand tracking on yours, and Reese is looking into getting that. But I, I know, like, from a, at a cursory glance, it, there's a lot of setup required for that stuff. That assumes it's tolerable now. It is more tolerable now than it would have been a decade ago, I'll tell you that much. I can tell you that with 100% certainty. Uh, Multi-Dreamer says, So as I mentioned on Twitter, I had a colonoscopy done recently, and now I must figure out what is safe for me to eat, so I asked for some good vibes. Happy stream, John. Good luck, Multi-Dreamer. That cannot be fun. Or not have been fun. I used to use Face Rig, and recently for better tracking, I got a new phone strictly for tracking. Without the community, I don't think I'd afford that also. Yeah, no, that's actually what Reese had to do. She had to get a new phone for tracking, too. Because she tried using Face Rig, and it was not good. Hey, it's Frisky says, hey, it's Frisky. Just wanted to do the give money for luck thing that's popular around these parts since me and my fiance got our first COVID vaccine appointments today. Here's to you and the fam. Much love. Yo, good luck, you two. Hopefully things go well and you don't have to get those shifted around. Kenpachi, thank you for the beefaroo. Ember Bolt, hi, John. I've been watching your streams for years, but I'm mostly a lurker because I'm socially inept. Also, I turned 29 today. All I did to celebrate was having lunch with my parents, but it was still a good day for me. Love what you do and keep up the good work. Happy birthday, Ember Bolt. I also just realized I definitely didn't <laughs> wish happy birthday to uh, another one I read out here earlier tonight. Where did that go? I definitely ended up kind of skimming it. Yeah, Playful Piano. Happy birthday to you, too. I kind of got sidetracked on that. Sorry. Happy, happy birthday from all of us to you. We wish it was our birthday so we could party, too. Hey! Nice. Phil says, do any of you know where I might happen to speak to the fellow who buried his face in my cake? If not, then let him know there's no hard feelings. Disclaimer, I am not named Phil, nor should this donation be taken as more than a bit. It's okay. Thank you, Phil. We're sorry. Uh, Hypercole says, trying to do a bit in voice chat? That flopped. Sorry, John. Yeah, so as I ran countermeasures for Cole, or for Cole, for Liam and muted my mic, Cole jumped into the call to yell about all the whoopers, and uh, no one heard it except me. And when I tried to say, you're muted, Cole had already left the call and didn't hear it. <laughs> Emmy Wisp says, eight minutes. Eight minutes is all I will spend with you. Or did. Anyway, it's time to watch the world burn with Kerbal. That's true. It will happen here in a, in a bit. And Anonymous says, but the VTuber model could be anything, John. It could even be a boat. <laughs> you know how much we wanted one of those? Yeah, motorboat. You know what? I, you know what? I'll give you credit. I'll give you credit on that one, Dan. Not bad. Thank you. Nice Thank wordplay. You. Nice setup. Are you my brother Rex Racer? Yo, I see my shot, man. I saw the shot. <laughs> Ooh, sorry about that, Sly guy. Hopefully that migraine goes away. Oof. All right, with that, let's go to Art Block. Do we have Ailita? Nope, not yet. Do I have Art Block? No, not yet. Actually, yes, I do. What am I doing here? What? Yep, okay, cool. Art Block's just one page. Which is weird, because I thought there were other things here. All right, whatever. Anyways, Art Block starts here. With, honestly, a really cool picture. Yeah, it's a GIF. Boom. Proton John, circa 2007. That's I just noticed. Cool. I just noticed the cit citrus move movery pokey on the top there, around the on the ring. Potest sa major could be bigger. So move faster, pokey could be bigger. And I think it's fortune cookie on the left side. 
Taking it back to where it all began, an extended version of this is also coming soon, set to the title theme of Kirby Superstar. Happy 14 years, John. Aw, thank you, Jasper. So for those who don't know, uh, Monday marked 14 years of me making content on the internet in general. Uh, so it was a little weird, which is also why we're going back to YouTube now. Uh, so that's why everything kind of all came together this week. And uh, Kirby Superstar was my very first Let's Play I ever did. So that's why they picked that. Nicely done, Jasper. Seriously, dude. 14 years. Unreal. It, it's, I've realized it's almost half of my life. Uh, it is... It's a little... Yeah, that's probably what fucked me up so much this past week. It was a, It's a little under... A little more than a third and a little under half of my life. And apparently other people are saying I have been at it for half of their lives, so there you go. I mean, you've been at it... When the hell? 14 years... Since I was yeah. 12. Jesus Christ. So many... Yeah, some people are like, I wasn't even born yet! I'm like, oh. You shouldn't be on this website! No, nah, they can be on here on 14. It's 13 oh, and wait, above. Four, oh wait, 14, right. For Major Mooch, commission from Mental Crash. Uh, part of my own character's in there, but I decided some emotes of, uh, of these characters need to be done. Hey, chat. Ada, ada. I can't, I can't do it. I can't do it, because I sound too much like a guy. Reese is extremely good at making that, the, doing that, but when I try to do it, it's just, no. I don't even know how to do that noise. I mean, well, you, you say, ara ara, but then you add like a, uh, like a little like softening uh, on it. Uh, that, like that or... so, sort of, it needs, it needs some more work, but yeah. Uh, but yeah, these are cute pictures of John Real. Nice avatars. Very nicely done, Mooch and Mental Crash. Stop providing Stop sexual providing. awakenings. <laughs> Never! <laughs> <laughs> Also, that's not another thing I need to process right now in my brain. Oh, God. Ah. Next up, John Real. Too late. Here's my take on John Real drawing her in a Rocco's modern lifestyle. It took many different angles to see where to go with this, but I think I pinned it down. That was a hoot. <laughs> God, the Rocco's modern lifestyle is just a pain in the ass to mimic. So, uh, so that would do it there. I mean, it makes sense. Rocco worked at a sex hotline, so. That's true. And didn't even, wasn't even aware of it. Well done on that, Jacob. I, I just noticed in chat, someone said do an ora ora instead. Well, ora ora is easy because you get, like, you, just, you go ora 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 like that. Like, you, it's easy to mimic, in a way. And also, it's, it's, it's a low guttural person. yell, so a guy can do it easily. And so on. Dude, it's been so surreal watching Bruce Lee movies. After I've watched Fist of the North Star, so it's like, oh, like literally everything from North Star is just taken from Bruce Lee movies. Okay. I mean, it's just like JoJo, where everything's just taken out of a music reference. Yeah, pretty much. Next up, for those who didn't see this, this is from the stream yesterday on Tom's channel. It was his birthday yesterday. So he had a sub goal of if he got enough subs, he would slam his face into a birthday cake. And he made the mistake of saying that after I had joined the stream. <laughs> so I gave him a birthday gift bomb. Mr. Game Boy immediately at the same time also gave him a gift sub bomb. And then the rest of the chat joined in. And then 10 minutes later, he had to go slam his face into a birthday cake. Okay, yeah, I was wondering how shit-faced he was. Because I rated him at like 1.30 in my time. And apparently he was six beers deep at that point. He had, no, he's six White Claws. <laughs> He had, oh, like he had a lot of white claws. He had a lot of white claws. He's also a lightweight at times. Sorry, Phil. Okay, that's fair. Yep, sorry, Phil. So this cake, that he went to a, a cake shop to get it, and the only cake they had available was one that someone didn't pick up, and written on it already was, sorry, Phil. So he said it was perfect and took it home with him, then <laughs> slammed his face into it. Sorry, Phil, I took your cake. <laughs> Good times. Also, hi, Alita, how you doing? My body picked a very bad time for a stomach ache, but I'm okay now. No, no, I feel that. I was that's one reason I started late today too, so. Feel you on that. Other than that, I'm good. <laughs> this is why you never challenge the chat. Or me. <laughs> 
or me who knows how dangerous the chat can be. Next up from Rhyme. So I got some cosplay modeling foam for reasons. Oh no. But I took a small break from that and made the smallest beef I could make. I mean, in theory, I could go Aww. smaller, but then I'd lose some of the detail, yeah. It's as tall as a double-A battery. It's adorable, Rhyme. Get tiny beefity. Oh, they put an emoji in, in chat. I'm scared. I'm scared for what the reasons could be. Thank you, Rhyme. Oh, no. Dun, dun, dun. Small beefity. Like I said, I've been doing cosplay work recently getting ready for that outfit and uh having worn a, a corset for the first time in my life i now understand why some people really like corsets because holy shit my posture has never been better holy shit <laughs> like literally like reese had to be like all right ugh, ugh, make it fit it cut off two inches off of my waist and also my spine definitely popped <laughs> But damn, did I feel tall. Holy shit. Right, am I wearing the corset right now? No, no I'm not. I'm in my pajamas. Did you feel, did you feel like you were 1.8 meters again? No. Wait, how, how tall is that? Fuck. Oh, that's not six feet. Fuck. Need a chiropractor? <laughs> well, look, I'm a nerd. I lean forward in my chair. So you can't do that wearing a corset. So I had to sit perfectly straight. And then it actually helped a lot. And then it was complicated completely by by the bra part, because we had to try that part out too for the outfit. Because I had to get the measurements for the for my friend Ness, who's making the dress for me. And then I just was like, all right, I have I'm gonna have to just wear this for a while to get used to it. And it was just like weird. I at numerous points I went to check my phone, and couldn't see my phone. So I had to be like, okay, I've got to get used to holding my phone out here now to see it. I laid down on the couch for a second to watch something on TV and realized I couldn't see the lower half of my body or my phone, which was resting on my stomach. So I'm like, okay, I now understand why people complain about these a lot. And I don't even have to worry about the, the extra parts of that. Uh, from Paint Pen, I live. Uh, after spending a whole month getting back into college and being stressed out, I'm finally back! I'll do my best to draw more on the Buru. I've got some ideas, especially with spring coming around. Sweet. Welcome back, Paint Ben. <laughs> Yay, you know my struggles now. <laughs> <laughs> uh, posture checks, I see you found out. Okay, but it can also have phones rest on them. That's true! I, I was trying that, it was alright. B cup superiority. I'm, st I'm still team big boobs, sorry, no matter what. I just don't have to go with, I guess, the actual negative aspects of those. Sorry. Team Next up. Cup. Team A cup. Mm -hmm. Team cup. Team all cups. <laughs> From Jasper. If you thought I would pass up the chance of drawing Bufferoo and Brofaroo, or Brofaroo, and I'll need to double my efforts on drawing all the big fellas. I had so many other terrible names for him other than Brofaroo and Bufferoo, too. Sirloin, Beefcake, buff Alo. Yeah, please don't let me name anything. Jesus. I think Bufferoo is pretty good. Thanks, Jasper. Bob Johnson. Roll Fizzle Leaf. Next up, from Sir uh, Ilium Ishium. Behold Yarn John B. Here to say congratulations to 14 years of video content. I originally made him because of a dream I had where either Mayo or Popsky accidentally spoiled the new LP on stream. It was a Kirby-related game, but not too sure beyond that. I can tell you with 100% certainty the video going up tomorrow is not a Kirby game. 100% certain on that. Team Big McLarge Huge. You said you were going to shave your beard for the cosplay. It's funnier if you don't. Nah, if I'm gonna do it, I wanna go whole hog. I wanna I wanna go all in. To a point, anyways. So, nah, I'll shave. Besides, it's not like there's much here to shave. From uh Akiza I'm gonna butcher this. Akiza Mizinski? Hi, John. This is my first post to the Buru, and congrats on 14 years. I know this has nothing to do with the stream, but I was watching the VOD of the stream from Saturday, 
And Villain said that her fursona was a red panda. This made me excited because red pandas are my favorite animal. My fursona is also a red panda and her name is Razu. Also, John, stop sending your snow to Montana. I'm tired of it snowing once a week. No, we're trying to get rid of it. We don't want it anymore. I want spring. I want spring. Clean shaven John's gonna be a sight. I mean, I've, I've clean shaved recently, like last month. It's not that surprising. Especially if you watched uh, Top Down Perspective. Thank you, Akiza. I love the winter, John. Send that shit over here. I would love to, but uh, we're, other than today, we're in the positives again. It's warm here now, which is why I'm going to have to turn off my heater in a minute. We'll end on this one from Green Day Rock. Thanks to Still's eggs from last stream, I was reminded of one of my favorite stream moments, the Cloudberry Kingdom stream from 2013, when you and Patty came up with the idea of Batman and the Chocolate Factory. I'm shocked no one hasn't done a Photoshop of these two worlds colliding, but here it is. I think way, way, way back then they might have, but yeah. The art community wasn't nearly as uh, robust as it is now. Roompa, roompa, doo -doo. Robust? Uh, I was trying to avoid the bigger comment. I should have known. I should have known. Uh, thank you, Green Day. There's more art to go. We'll grab to it next break, because now it's time for regrets. It's time for the Kerbal Space Program. Living a, the Oompa Loompas live in a society. Okay, I do not know how to play this game. Straight up. Just straight up. I think you just pretend to make a rocket and then kill whatever the pilots are. Uh, I think the game has already crashed. Good night, everybody. Ba -da -ba -ba -da -ba. <laughs> hey. Hey. That was a good power trip. It, it might have actually crashed. Hang on. Try again. Oh, no, nope, there we go. It just takes a long time to load. Okay, we're still good. Kerbal Space Program. So we're not... Do, 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 so we do, do, got do. fully released, huh? <laughs> well, I mean, you know my luck, too. Let's be real. True. Let's get the chat window in a place where I can read you guys, because God, am I going to need help during this. I'm going to need a lot of help during this. Yeah, sadly, I'm not going to be able to give much of it, because uh, the only help... The only thing I've ever seen of Kerbal besides... When you streamed it back in 2015, was like Maxwell playing this game on YouTube, <laughs> and that was in like early access. So, I mean, I've heard if you have the time to put into this, uh, it's really good. But I've I... never seen this, so good luck. Yeah, is there is there a tutorial? Uh. uh... Oh, we had I was, training. Oh, there, oh. perfect. Getting started in basic construction. Look, I'm just saying, if this training doesn't have us build a dick by the end of it, I'm out. I think what happened was people made me go in without doing training or something like that. That might have been why we just skipped ahead, or I misclicked something and got rid of the tutorial prompt, and then it just it went bad. Is all I remember. Tracking station, all going missions can be viewed and focused. Launch pad, vehicle assembly building, space plane hangar, mission control. Astronaut complex, a mission building. Very tiny font. Yeah. <laughs> Research and development. Okay. I'm going to the VAB. Okay, this is the construction area. This is where parts are placed and your craft is constructed. On the left side of the screen is the parts toolbox. It will show all the parts you have available to you. Alright. Go ahead and pick the command module that pods tab. Alright. We got a command pod. Arrow keys to move the camera or dragging the right mouse button. Page oh, up and page uh... down to move up and down. And zoom in the camera is key plat, keypad plus and minus. Uh, oh, did I not change the game? Oops, my bad. I was about to ask about that, yeah. 
Hang on, I can't even find my window right now. Done. Cliffhanger space program. Space programmed. <laughs> Cliffhanger space program. There we go. Uh. Go ahead and select the M16 parachute by left-clicking on it, then uh, move it to the top of the command pod. Did I click the wrong thing? I think I did. Yes, I did. What the hell is the command pod? Maybe able to pilot. Hang on, I'm gonna, I've been skimming this, but I think I actually do need to actually straight up read this. Purchase are some way to make sure that happens. They can be found on the utility tab. Change tabs by clicking their icons on the left part. Um, utility. Parachute. Right there. There we go. Uh, oh, okay. Yeah, I've been trying to skim them. I am, I am actually going to have to fully read these. I suppose there's a way to actually like increase the size of that window, is there? Because I like, had to actually look at my... like go towards my computer screen to read that. <laughs> I don't know what I can do for you guys, but it's actually a decent size on my screen. But I don't know what I can do specifically for you guys here. Uh, I can look in settings. Where's, is there a quick setting? Well, let's save. Can't save a progress, Never mind. I put the stream feed on full screen. I can read it fine. Can you do that whole zoom a section of screen thing? I can do that. Uh, if you want me to do that, hang on. I need to duplicate the game to do that, though. Give me a second. And honestly, as long as you can, as long as you can read it, it's not that big a deal. No, that's not what but... I want. Hang on, crop. Uh, do 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 do. John Rone, what? Oh, uh, VTuber joke in the call command. That's all. What's her name? Corona. Corona. Yeah. Yeah. So it's John Rone. Uh, clickety clickety click. This is the one thing I think OBS does faster than XSplit. There we go. <laughs> I heard Corone. <laughs> my love, my love, Corone. <laughs> <laughs> All right, where should I put this that it's a bit more readable? Right, let's have it just, uh, we'll just tuck it over here. Was it directly over the actual tutorial? <laughs> Some parts, like our parachute here, have configurable options. To see what we, uh, these we need to right-click on the parachute we just attached to the pod. Thank you, by the way. <laughs> uh, on the parachute, you'll see that we can adjust our altitude and the atmospheric pressure at which to open. That setting can be quite useful on distant worlds. For now, let's check the opening height of the chute is at least 1,000 meters, because safety is the Kerbal way, after all. For the minimum pressure slider, move it a bit to the right to 0.2. This setting prevents the chute from activating until the atmospheric pressure is above the configured value. On Kerbin, 0.2 is about 9 kilometers in altitude, so even if you stage early and arm the parachute, it will wait until then to activate. You can hide these options by right-clicking on the background scene or picking up another part. Uh, What's wrong with his eyes? Well, he has glasses, so clearly he has some sort of vision impairment. Duh. Move it a bit to the right to 0 0.2. I think I'm doing that wrong. I'm definitely doing this wrong. There we go. That's what I'm looking for. Okay, that was right click on that. I hope you guys like actual engineering because that's kind of what this game is essentially. Next up, we're gonna need something to make us go. Click on the engines tab on the left to show the available engines and solid rocket motors. Grab one and connect it to the bottom of the pod. You may need to zoom or move the camera to be able to do so. Yeah, cause that's kind of big. Ah, uh, doo -doo 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 -doo. Could be bigger. It definitely could be bigger. Uh oh, cause it's stuck in the ground. Yeah, let's fix that. Bingo. Oops, I forgot you're just starting out. You're not a famous rocket scientist, and to make the craft survival as it stands, now you'd have to be better at rocket science than me. Hi, impossible. 
Problem with the craft is that this solid rocket is too powerful for the payload. A single small pod and shoot, it will either burn up on ascent from going too fast, or burn up coming back down. And if you survive that, the craft's mass will cause it to fall too fast for the parachute to operate properly, and you'd hit the surface before it could stop you. Okay, I promise to teach you how to change that to make it work in a later tutorial, but for now, let's continue. Well, at least this way I get to tell you about removing parts. Pick up the thumper and either drop it back over the parts toolbox or press delete. I wanted the giant rocket. Alright, let's add the solid motor. That's a better match for a ship of this size. The flea. <laughs> you got the flea. At the start of your career, you'll have what I consider rubbish parts. Literally, the motor here looks like it may well be a converted trash can. That said, it does have enough oomph to get this little craft moving skyward and quickly. <laughs> nice one. We've built a simplest survival craft possible. We could go launch this right now, but it might be safer to explain one other thing first. In the bottom right, you'll see a staging stack. Uh, it's the box with the number zero and the icon for the parachute and engines in it. The stack shows us which parts will be activated as we stage our rocket. When this sh shows... What this shows is that when we activate the next stage, both the engine and the parachute will be triggered. While it could be considered funny to open the chute and fire the motor at the same time, it's not going to give you much of a flight. To fix this, we need to separate the engine and chute into two stages. If you mouse over the zero stage, you will see a little plus and minus appear. Click the plus box and add a new stage. If you had too many, click the minus button. Oh, well, I've already done this, actually. So let's remove a stage. And drag the engine icon from stage down to stage one. It's important to note that stages activate from the highest number and then count down. So our first stage will be stage one, and our second stage will be stage zero to shoot. That's it. We now have a safe, well, relatively safe craft that's ready to go. Let's make sure that if we need this design again, we don't have to build it all from scratch. All right, click the save button. Now I can use it. Hooray. Someone in the chat brings up a good point. This rocket will kill the passenger. I'll tell you how to fix it in a later tutorial. Safety first. Baby space. Oops, and I minimized the game. Baby's first space. Yeah. <laughs> Perfect. Hey. Excellent work. Feel free to play around with the parts and techniques I've shown you, and when you're ready to continue, press the red button in the upper right to exit. Back at the training menu, try the flight basics tutorial to learn how to fly this little craft, and then the intermediate construction tutorial can teach you more about the editor. Any vessels you create here will be lost when you exit. This is just for playing around. Okay. Wait, this is our ship. We've done so much. What other parts do we have here? We've got the thumper. Can I just slam this anywhere I want? Can I rotate this? Oh, baby. Oh, baby! Let's go! Oh. Let's go! <laughs> Hang on, how did I zoom out? What is zoom out? It's this one. Is it not mouse wheel? No. Mouse wheel is up and down. What? Perfect! Oh. Perfect. <laughs> Nice. And then let's Whoa. add another one. Oh no. <laughs> and then let's uh, add this. Oh, it won't let me do that one. Ah. You know, I don't know why I'm shocked. I've seen you. I've seen you behind the wheels of a wrestling game, Caw. I'm. I don't know why I'm shocked anymore. <laughs> I wish I could see. Oh, let's let's move them all to the uh, to the right stage. Now, if only we could do a test here. I don't think it'll let me. <laughs> but it looks great. Oh no, he's learning! Don't save. You think Kerbals have bomb shelters in case of this shit? Man, there's a lot of expansions to this game. Training! Uh, basic flight. <laughs> I'm learning. Yeah, the zoomed-in window's still up because we're going to need it again. See? Uh, I'm Gene Kerman, and I will teach you the basics of piloting a spacecraft. I trust you've already checked the basic construction tutorial. If not, I recommend you do so before going through it. It will do a run-through of all the important controls for your spacecraft. Our little hopper from your basic construction lesson from with Wormer may not have all of them, but it, it will do a full run-through once and see what flies. Flying spacecraft is all about being in control of a generally very chaotic situation. As, you, as a pilot, your main flight controls will affect the pitch, yaw, and roll of the ship. Alright, so X, Y, and Z, basically. Pitch, yaw, and roll are the three directions you will rotate your craft. To help you visualize these, we've taken a holiday snap of the hopper below. I'm going to butcher these for a bit, but at least we know it. 
You control your ship's rotation using these controls. S and W. A and D. And Q and E. Okay, that's not too bad, actually. Notice in the left there, I'm changing the roll, pitch and yaw, all that down there. It's not too bad. Throttle plus pitch, yaw, and roll are the main controls you'll need to master for a successful crash-free flight. We'll skip over the throttle control for now, as this vessel has no need for it. And we'll explain another time. Remember that all these controls have a limited amount of effectiveness, so bigger, heavier ships will probably respond much more sluggishly to controls than a little small one. It's also good to keep in mind that as stages are separated from the ship, it will become lighter, and this will usually mean easier to control. Space to launch and activate next stage. Okay, notice the stage indicator in the lower left corner. It shows the currently active stage. Uh, since we haven't launched yet, it's showing the first stage is active. I have your stage and controls locked for now, so the stage indicator is glowing purple. If a staging setup is causing strife or you change your mind about something, you can edit the stage sequence on the fly, pun intended. No need to go back to the assembly facility. Okay, cool. An important part of flying is knowing how your ship is oriented when it's going and where it's going. Big round issue in the lower center of the screen is called the nav ball. This device sums up most of the critical information needed for proper death-free flight. Here you see the ship's nose in relation to the horizon. Uh... Interesting. You also get several icons that indicate things like your current velocity vector, but we'll have a look at those later. All right, we've got our altimeter, vertical speed indicator, and atmosphere gauge is in the top center. We're 74 meters above the above sea level, I believe, right now. Yep, distance to the planet's surface at sea level. Uh, your vertical speed indicator shows how quickly your altitude is changing. Atmosphere gauge indicates how deep the ship is in the planet's atmosphere. It'll help you know if the ship is high enough for orbiting without losing speed or air resistance, or two air resistance. Uh, science. One last thing before we get this rocket the green light. In the staging stack, you can see the indicator for your parachute. This indicator shows when the chute will be activated by staging. You already know that, but the background will also change color to indicate when it is safe to stage the parachute, and the foreground will change color. Note, however, that by default, parachutes will not deploy when unsafe, even if you stage them. Interesting. Yeah, like I was saying, guys, this is this is literal rocket science. There will be a quiz, chat. Take notes. Oh, God. Please don't. No, no <laughs> quiz. No quiz, please. <laughs> no quiz, please. All right, unlock the flight controls, and you'll be clear for launch. Anytime you press escape to pause the game in the pause menu, you can restart the flight or end this tutorial. Now you just press it and hit space when you're ready to launch. Don't forget, our hopper has only a solid rocket motor, so there's no throttle control. That's why we didn't review the throttle here. Make sure to fly in a nice high arc and enjoy the flight. We're doing it! <laughs> to the moon! Space! Here we come! On the great space coaster, get on board! <laughs> Fuck you, finals are next week for me. <laughs> <laughs> You'll be fine. You got this. Probably. Is Definitely. the destination Rosa's left boob? I think we're gonna need more rocket fuel to get there. Oh god, oh god, oh god! Oh, we're already oh god, at that point. Oh god, getting GameStop stocks! <laughs> you saw the motor is burned out, you're passing uh, the highest point of your flight, and your speed is low enough that it's safe to stage again to deploy the parachute. You are in the parachute, now time to wait to get low enough and slow down enough for it to deploy safely. Well, maybe worry slightly if you didn't fly high enough, you may not have enough air under you to slow down before you crash. All right, maybe we should actually make sure this is pointing the correct way. Ooh, it's, it's, it's fighting me on this. He's spinning. Oh, there we go. And now we sit back and enjoy the descent. Yup. <laughs> we sure do. Sh 
Sure am enjoying- that parachute better have activated enough or we're fucked. Keep going, keep going, you're good. Uh, I'm not crazy and like this is in the wrong- this is wrong, right? <laughs> you look like you're upside down. Yeah, it, it definitely looks like it's upside down. Don't worry about it. It won't be- you won't have to worry about oh, it. Oh, there we go. Oh. Oh. Never mind. It's okay. The pi I was about to say, the pilot won't have to worry about it for the much longer. The pilot definitely is ready to vomit. <laughs> we did it. We have to enjoy this descent. Eventually. Yep. We're only going six <laughs> meters a second, so we got 200 meters left. We're almost there. That sudden snap should have killed him. Don't worry about it. They don't got no neck. I can evac. I can evacuate the pot. Cannot Eva in this scenario. See, the Kerbals have evolved to the point where they don't get Gwen stacy so easily. Tana. Da, 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 da. When you've landed or splashed on curb and are not in training, you can point the mouse just above the altimeter and click the recover button from the panel to ask to be picked up. Also, unlock the crew hatch. So if you feel like going out for a walk or swim, you can click the Eva button that will pop up when your mouse over the portrait of the Kerbal you want to take for a walk. You can do it just for fun or to collect a surface sample. Oh, yep. We oh oh yep. we're here. <laughs> Boop, 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 Your neck doesn't boop, snap, but you get dizzy. That's boop, still fit. Boop, boop, We're in too boop, soon. Boop, boop. Do, do, the do. Gwen Stacy thing like 40 years ago. Do, 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 do. <laughs> he can dance. He can <laughs> dance. Everyone look at the hands. I'm walking here. We. <laughs> <laughs> we. Oh. Go. Bump. Bump, 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 bump. Well, this was fun, but I'm gonna go home now. What button to climb was that? Flash for a split second. I have to go now. What button do I need to press? My planet needs me! Come on! F, F to climb, there we go. Yep, good climb. Great climb. <laughs> we did it. I don't think he, I don't think they wanna get back in. I don't think they wanna get back in. Climb, climb. Nope. Well, you're you're just stuck here then. Enjoy. We did it. I don't think they want to experience that whiplash again. Maybe not. End scenario. You can't get whiplash. You don't have a neck. I meant ass whiplash. <laughs> All right. Uh, we could do another tutorial, or we can just. Make a mess. Mess, 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 mess. mess. I, I had a feeling we're not. This is not going to be flyable. I can already tell. But let's uh, let's try it. Yep, there it is. Oh, did, we ever, John, did we Why? ever expect it to be flyable? I probably want sandbox. We have access to everything. In sandbox mode, all parts and features are available from the start. Yeah, exactly. Flyable is never was never the goal. Nope. All right, let's do it. He can do anything. This is going to be such a bad idea. All right, let's make a cockpit. I want to get one of these fancy Mark 1 ones. 
Let's, uh, let's, I guess I can't move it right now. <laughs> you uh, can even make a boat. <laughs> let's see, we need some engines, so let's get a Twitch. Let's get a Twitch. Let's get a Twitch. Dot TV. Let's, let's get a Twitch. Slash Proton John. Let's get a Twitch. <laughs> let's get a Twitch. Oh no, that one's not right. There we go. Let's get a Twitch. No, no, no. no we might need a Twitch. Uh, that one's gonna point that way. Oh, I can't put on any more. All right, well then, fine. I'll add a thumper. All right. So which one's the uh, Prime engine? Uh, I need to aim this particularly well. Yep, like that. That's the, exactly the way I need it to be aimed. Perfect. But then we've got to add it, a twin brother pointing that way. Doctor, you're mad. Uh, we do need to add, I think, a container to hold fuel, though, don't we, I believe? You might need one that's, like, crossing both of them, though. That's going to explode immediately? Correct! I did say yep. I was making a mess. Right, let's add some surface base. Circle in the bottom left with a dot in the middle. It looks like a radar. It's a symmetry toggle. It'll make chaos a lot more fun. Ooh. Cycle symmetry this, count. This feels morally wrong, yet oh so right. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> That's pretty much every decision the government has ever made in, in insert country here for the last 2,000 years. So. Is, is it this one or the toggle snap one? Uh, let's Someone's saying it's that one. Okay. I think it is that one. Oh, what is this prediction? Oh no! No, it's Ooh, gonna blow up. Is. Like that's there. There's no questioning that. It will blow Look up. Look at this fucking thing! <laughs> if you expect that thing to last five <laughs> seconds, you're out of your goddamn mind. <laughs> All right. Well, we gotta cool the engine. You're about as mad as John is a scientist. Like as John is as a scientist. Uh, we gotta add some thermals. We gotta put on a heat shield. Here, let's put it right there. That seems like a good place for it. Nope. Yep. Yeah, no, that was perfect. That was actually where I wanted that. Nope. 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 No. No. Go back. Oh! Oh! No. Oh! <laughs> that's why they wanted me to do it. Now I get it. Now I get it. Oh, you're wow. not needed anymore. You get the fuck out of here. Oh. Oh, oh my God. There it is. That's why they wanted me to do the symmetry. Oh, that's oh. that is oh, actual art. Go. That is actual yes. art. Oh my God. I'm in. I'm in. I'm excited. I'm strapped in. Uh, we probably need a wheel. Let's put him up here. You know, <laughs> I'll, if this thing actually does manage to last more than five seconds, John, I'll give you 50 bucks. <laughs> I'm Sorry, gonna hold you to that. Fuck, I'm gonna hold you to that. <laughs> Dude, I don't fucking care. I've got There's fuel tanks. I, here we go. Let's add some fuel tanks, baby. Let's go. How much fuel? Oh, that's so big. What the uh, hell? That thing is hello. huge. I'll get my fucking splits up for this. All right. Uh, how do I tell if I have enough fuel? Fifty bucks in Twitch subs. Fifty bucks either way. I don't care. Twitch subs, donations, whatever. I'd like to change my vote, please. Nope. Sorry, hun. You made your choice. Too late. <laughs> oh, you find out with experimentation. Oh, okay. I thought there was like a literal like like marker for it. <laughs> That's what I would have expected. Solid fuel. Okay, they each need a 20. 
Do I qualify for the stimulus? I do. Uh, they need 20, and these are worth what? 1350. I might need another set of fuel containers just to balance that out. Oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> That's definitely enough fuel now. <laughs> I'm liking this. Oh my god. This is gonna be beautiful. This is gonna that blow is up immediately. Mark. Let's save this. Uh, we're gonna call this Five regrets. Seconds. Five seconds uh, is the time to beat, John. Can, five can seconds. it live for five seconds? <laughs> but mom, I wanna go to the moon! Alright, let's go to, let's go to the moon. Let's see if this even moves. Oh, it'll go to the moon one way or another. I'll tell you that much. <laughs> will it take off, or will it be a ball of fucking gas? Yes. How do I go... How do I bring it out to launch? Do I need to get a crew in that first, or what? Uh, top right, I think it says there should be a thing that says launch. Oh, yeah, there oh, it is. Perfect. Oh. All right, I don't know how this thing takes off, but once you take off, I'm going to start my timer. If it Get does. The <laughs> Get the yeah, popcorn, it, it's, Jack. Yeah, it's already... <laughs> <laughs> it didn't like it. <laughs> Can I try again? It, I don't think it lasted five seconds. <laughs> I did, it didn't even last zero seconds. How, is, there, is there a reload, or am I fucked? It just, it just immediately started wiggling. Good news, Jebediah is safe, though. He's alive! Jebediah is somewhere. There he is. He fucking survived. Good job, Jebediah. Durable little bastard, ain't he? He's happy. <laughs> I live, bitch. Oh, he can run. Sweet. Wee! <laughs> Yeah, he did a flip. And he, he lived that, too. He walked Revert that flight. shit off. Revert to launch. <laughs> that was beautiful. We're going to try to stage it this way. We're going to go immediately. Dan, you better be counting. Oh, shit. I closed my splits. Fuck. I got my stopwatch. Motherfucker, because that shit is still going. It's been five seconds. I got you ten didn't seconds. Even bucks. Take oh, you oh, there it is. Fifty bucks. I got 12 seconds. Pay All up, right. dude. <laughs> Damn it, where's your tip jar? <laughs> <laughs> Alright, there it is. Yes. God damn it. <laughs> <laughs> that missile's still going strong, baby. Let's go. Where is it? Top of the <laughs> it's off in the distance up here. <laughs> <laughs> Where's Jeb? <laughs> Jeb is Jeb is I think back at base. Yep. So so it started with the actual pilot part ejecting immediately, and then the rest of the missile platform kind of took off. Wow. This is why you bet when you know Jack. That seemed like a sure thing. Yeah. To be fair, he's right. When it started, it just blew up, and we haven't done anything. We gave it another chance to actually fly, and it worked. I can see why they thought wow. it wasn't gonna work. God damn it. <laughs> Here's your 50. Thank you. Again, again. Also, I'm still technically cashing it. Oh my. I'm still cashing it on employment from Target, so like. Yeah, I can make bets like this. As long as I do it every once in a while. He's fine. He's fine. Somehow. He's running. He's running. Oh, God, is he running? Oh, shit. <laughs> Get out of there, Jeb. <laughs> it's a bomb. It. I'm proud of him. All right, uh, let, let's let's see what we can. Let's go back to building. <laughs> you just start re just start revealing flashcards five, 
four. Three. It's a bomb! <laughs> Hang on, I think I know what we did wrong here. Uh, let's. Uh, yeah, let's zoom in. Let's see. We don't need this. Get rid of that. Don't need this. Get rid of that. But can't. Oh no, they're all attached together. Oh no. Whoa. Actually, would that make it work better with there being less weight on it? I wonder. Give it a shot. I think the most shocking thing isn't the fact that that thing actually managed to fly. It's the fact that Jeb didn't die. It actually fixed it. <gasps> what? It's not crashing immediately. I still have it so that the bot. Oh, you know what? Hang on. Hang on. John, you Hang didn't on. make a rocket. You made a fucking weapon. <laughs> <laughs> you well, they didn't. They right? never said I didn't have to do that. So let's. Here's one thing that I that definitely fucked it up. I put on all those uh, heat pads. So that was actually blocking the rockets here. So now that we've fixed, oh. now that we've removed oh. that, now let's see if it actually goes up. Oh God, now he's made a functioning weapon. It still does not go up. <laughs> Where's Aerosmith for running? I don't wanna close my eyes. But definitely no one is getting near this thing right now. Uh-oh. Uh. Jeb? Jeb's fine. Uh oh, so okay. I'm gonna I'm gonna try something here. We're gonna, I wanna make this thing fly if it can. Uh I need to reorganize this, but I don't know what is what in this situation. Oh, there we go. Perfect. That's exactly what I wanted. Uh so you guys go to stage one. Too yeah. heavy, Captain. And yeah, it probably is too heavy, but I mean, we can solve that issue easily. Yeah, we just gotta get rid of the dead weight, or add more. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's see here. Save. That one stray missile cost me fifty bucks, though. That's god unbelievable. <laughs> <laughs> no, even strike. even not counting that, it still flew. Yeah, it is too heavy to actually get that, so can't we can't do anything with that. But we do have a flamethrower, and that's the important thing. Unlimited power. Do you think this thing violates the Geneva Convention or what? You think I can use this in a war? It's definitely the fuel tanks that are causing all the weight, but that's also kind of the point, since it needs the fuel. Because I don't know if it's going to have enough fuel if we do this. <laughs> do the Mythbusters way. Just keep adding more until it either works or it explodes. There are bigger <laughs> rockets than that? Okay. We're going to need them. Do you think the Guild of Calamitous Intent would weaponize something like this? All right, what's the biggest rocket we have? <laughs> Those fuel tanks are bet dead weight. Yeah, but they look nice. Hang on. All right, we just need to make a wall of rockets. Are we beating, are we building a rocket or a shmup boss? Yes. 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 <laughs> Alright, we've doubled the rockets. I think I still oh, left no. them in the in the wrong list. Yeah, I did. Hang on. Alright, so John, here's my question. When are we gonna add the quadcopters to this thing? Oh baby! Oh baby! Oh Holy baby! Crap. We got left off! Activate the flamethrowers! <laughs> Make them pay for their crimes! Go, Jebediah! Make them pay for their sins! <laughs> I can't believe that's actually working! 
I love the fact that it's actually got a gradual spin to it. Shoot the car! Shoot the car! <laughs> this, this actually is a greatest boss, isn't it? That's what I was thinking. It's not going up anymore. <laughs> no, it's going somewhere. Who it's because the, it's the main somewhere. rockets are out of fuel, I think. Because I, oh, because I stopped the staging. Yeah, there we go. Well, at least we have to enjoy this part. Well, he's dead. Oh! That thing lasted a minute. <laughs> 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 That thing actually lasted about a minute and two seconds, according to my nice. clock. So you were gonna yeah. owe me fifty bucks no matter what, is what you're saying? <laughs> oh, right, because I have to move the other set down here. Jeb, Jeb, Jeb! No, that was not gonna fly because I screwed up. Here lies Jebediah, fake gamer. <laughs> I hate you. Want rockets? Put two rockets on a rocket and then use the eight symmetry on the three rocket trifecta to make it into 24 rockets. Oh my god. Oh my god. And then you can you make know, that 24 into 192? We're doing it. We're doing it. Hang on. <gasps> Hang on. Um, so let's put another nice rocket on there. We need, that more, sounds like we need, a... more, we need more thumpers. <laughs> that sounds like a bad idea. Let's do so it! Is this, uh... this is the so outer is this... layer. This is the outer layer of thumpers. So oh, this, this is, is, this is the outer, outer layer there. of the thumper. Oh no! And oh, then yes. we grab the. Uh oh. Uh oh. I think it's uh -oh, Raggy. Uh -oh. Wait, no, we might be fine. Yeah, this is fine. This is fine. So, uh, is this the Dehiran shot space program I've been hearing so much about? All right, this is this is not gonna fly because I think this is uneven. It's gonna bounce around on the platform. Uh, let's move everything down to the proper staging. Yeah, we got our separate flamethrower set up. Save that. <laughs> now this is a weapon. It, this is gonna fall apart gear. immediately. This is gonna fall apart immediately. Oh, definitely. No it doubt. did not. It did not. What? Timer started. It's rotating on its own. No way. Holy crap. Do, 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 it's not, do, 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 it's do, not just do, rotating do, on its own. Way. It's still maintaining like a perfect <laughs> lift. <laughs> <Bend down. laughs> Look at that. Look at the rotation on that thing. We've me? made our own space station out of rockets. Holy shit. Hell yeah. I would lap oh, my sorry, ass I... off if we actually ended up. Nope, there it is. Oh, there it goes. <laughs> you know, Jab is back. Jab, get out of there. Jab! Oh, Jab! 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 Where's his parachute? Oh wait, no, there it is. Okay. Can can he deploy? Jab's, it? Jab's gonna be up there for a while. Enjoy he the view, ha Jab. Happy in his portrait, at least. There go the rest <laughs> of the rockets. I'm free falling. Free, free falling. Fallin'. Jeb, how do you use your parachute, buddy? No, don't get rid of the parachute. Use the parachute! <laughs> <laughs> oh, I don't need this shoot. thing, right? Jeb is safe, everybody. Jeb is safe. You know, I was kind of curious what would happen if he actually could die of fall damage. Just want to see that bounce, that Kerbal bounce. I think if I spike a Kerbal like a football, it'll actually, like, it actually has physics. I'm gonna try something again. So we know this These flies. I think about it at night. When I'm in a shower, Legit I just add struts for ri like uh, rigidity to make it more rigid and it would actually work. As long as they land on their helmet, they'll live. Oh, so if they break their legs, they're fucked. Got it. Like a racehorse. <laughs> Activate the spinning carousel of death. Oh, I realize I still have my time wrong from that last minute. Whoops. Make them pay for their crimes. Whee! 
Will it actually, like, is it gonna just explode when it runs out of fuel? Is that when it broke last time? No, it just, it just got mad. <gasps> Jack! Oh, that one, that one, yeah. 34 seconds. Alright, bring in the next clone. Alright, you know what? This went better than I thought it was going to based on last time. I'll give it that. Yeah, that ruled. Yeah, that was great. I whipped ass. Alright, you know what? You win. You win, Delta. You succeeded. Good choice. Good choice. Good job. Look how happy this one is. Yeah. Yeah, because he's not dead. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that <laughs> one's just stranded in the cold, vast reaches of space, but not dead, so. <laughs> Delta said earlier, you might consider the tutorials. Regardless, just remember that explosions, dead kerbals, and failure are considered just a part of the game. Fair enough. Good choice, Delta. I'm glad you all had fun with it. It was a good time. Good choice. Uh, Alright, and with that, let's get ready for the next raffle. Where is my window? There's my window. Guess what I didn't do. Shit, hang on. Uh, yeah, we don't need the high-risk alert right now. Gold men, do you know what you're doing? <laughs> I don't. I don't. Bye. What? You know what? That 50 bucks was worth it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna just say it right now. That was All a right. very well spent 50. Exclamation, Jeb! Exclamation, Jeb, to enter this round of power trip. If you came in uh, late and were wondering what the hell's going on, this is Power Trip, where we raffle off who gets to pick the next game we play on stream. So far tonight, we have played Cliffhanger for the Super Nintendo and Kerbal Space Program on Steam. Let's see who's picking what we play next. Exclamation jab to join in. One minute on the clock starting now. When that jingle goes off, that's when we find out what we're playing next, or who's picking what we play next. You know, I was gonna compare that to the Dehiran shot, like actually to a Dehiran shot joke, but uh, here's the thing about your design compared to theirs. Yours functioned. <laughs> For like There's 30 action. seconds. Hey, that's 30 seconds more than anything they would have ever pulled off. <laughs> it also wasn't in real life, so that also helps. Well, neither was theirs. But at least yours was like actually. Uh, actually, like, it designed to be funny? I don't know. Oh, Franzel, I'm well aware. I watched Colbert, and Colbert always went, Jeb! So that's why I'm saying it like that. All right, rolling it. Who's picking next? Ryu sign. Hey. R Y U U S E I N. Ryu sign. Congratulations. What are we playing next? It might be Ryu sign now. That I think about it. Chaos. Wow. Chaos Wars for the PlayStation Two. Is that the game I think it is? Is that the game I think it is? It sure is. Oh no. Oh no. It's the bad voice acting game. <gasps> Yay! Oh. Let me make sure. 100% is. Yep. Well. Aw, oh, Spain be for a gift. I didn't even notice that until now. Spain. That's gonna be a ride and a half. Alright. Let's drop some eggs. Beefer be saw the rocket and was inspired. <laughs> Beefer believes it can fly. Go Philip Ho and Captain Joe, thank you for the gift subs to Haruka and Nico B. Uh, NC Collier for 20. I just found out your video anniversary is the same as my birthday, so that was awesome. Yo, happy late birthday. 
Turtle Science for 33. Is... What? This is your birthday song. <laughs> it isn't very long. Turtle Science for 33, Puppet Master for 88, Gamer Dude 78 for 11, Wan Spell for 24, Victim of Changes for 28, uh, Burin Ref Reflar for 20 for two. Wow. Brain, please. Ant Pop T3 for 31. Little May Rose for 48. William Arrest for 40. Dan Darkhart 417 for 55. Uh, Mr. Spartan Triple Six for 13. Uh, Skit Scott for 18. Toblo One for 43. Albino Shamrock for 49. And Translucent Spartan for 45. Thanks for subbing, folks. Your eggs tonight are courtesy of the following people as I get all my windows back in order. All right, still with can't even cliffhang. Cool. Game's called egg. Fanger can't even egg. Fang. It quail and it fell off an egg. I'll be right back. <laughs> Heavy base with Phoenix Egg Stingray. The following is a stupid idea that just came to me, but I'm sorry for this one. I mean, I made the Phoenix Egg Ridge, so let's try this one. <clears throat> Phoenix, 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 If that's the stingray I'm thinking of, very, very few people are going to get that reference here. But thank you, Heavy Bass. Uh, Green Day with Just Play Tom's Hoedown. Shit, just play your fucking music. John has got some titties, yeah. They are right there on his chest. Oh my god, what have I gotten myself into? This is not the best. The fuck? I was listening to that. That was also from last night's Tom stream. Uh, apparently it's just now tradition for my friends to just sing about my giant titties. So, uh, thanks. Uh, Gokai with somehow that didn't kill him. Oh, look what I can do. Look at that thing wiggle! Damn! Game fan with this isn't Calgary. Hi, why am I here? Uh, and there's a lot of game fan ones. Esper Magic with Corona Crazy Taxi Egg. Oops, I'm smart. Most of those were audio, uh, but that last one definitely was. Yeah, you didn't need to see the video for this one. Uh, this one you probably did. Oh, look what I can do! <laughs> <laughs> that was pretty much the only one you. Oh, and this one too. Hi, why am I here? Uh, <laughs> Esper Magic with Corona's Crazy Taxi Egg. This is my egg. Egg. This is my. And Cole with Whooper. Uh oh. Uh oh. Spare. <laughs> oh no! Oh no! Wow. <laughs> Yeah, I think uh, I think I'm just gonna go drink for the rest of the night. Y'all take it easy. Good night. <laughs> <laughs> Buddy, with Isaac and G, have a polite conversation about fighting game music. What did you do, Buttery? Shit! Uh -oh. Just oh, no. play your fucking music. What the fuck? I was listening to that. You are one fucked up fuck. You know that? That's offensive shit you're playing me. Get up to rock, get up to burn, stand me the pride ever for your desire. I'm guilty here. <laughs> uh, Andrew with Beefaroo ransom note, totally uh -oh. serious. 
Hello, Mr. Fancy Streamer Man. Do you remember me? That's right. It is I, your arch nemesis. I, uh, I mean, this is this is Tales for Raga. I I said that I was gonna be arch your arch nemesis. Remember? Oh, I, I, I made that. That's right. He did tell me this. It's anyway, true. I have kidnapped your chat's beloved Beaveru, and if you want to see the bovine again, then I require one trillion U.S. dollars, or the equivalent in Canadian dollars. If you cannot guarantee the money, then I cannot guarantee the cowbub's safety. You are to bring the money to- Oh, hang on just a second. Yeah? Aw, uh, did you finish your apple juice already? Okay, don't worry, I'll get, I'll get you another glass of apple juice and maybe some cookies too. Would you like that? You like the cookies? Okay, I'll get you some cookies. I just need to do this, uh, this, this ransom note real quick. And then don't worry, you don't have to get up. <laughs> anyway... I have been torturing the Bifuru with the coziest of pillows, the comfiest of blankets, and delicious apple juice and cookies. Wait, you you don't you don't think that sounds like torture? Okay, listen, if you're not gonna take this arch villainy thing like like seriously and stuff, then then neither will I. You know what? You you guys can have the cow back. Ap after I hug it a little bit more. It's, it's very cute. <laughs> Guild the clan is intended to roast that about level one, buddy. Can I? Can I? I want to go back to this part for a second. I think it was right here. You are to bring the money to. Oh, hang on, just a second. This little, the yeah. little tiny baby. Oh, uh, did you finish your apple juice already? Okay, don't worry. I'll get. I'll get you another glass of apple juice and maybe. That's adorable. Too. Would you like that? It's absolutely adorable. You like the cookies? Okay. <laughs> That's so adorable. That is... Thanks, oh, tails. Thanks, Tails, my arch rival and evil villain who clearly, clearly kidnapped me for. Uh, yeah, and that's it. That's all I got for eggs for now. So let's go to break. And when we come back, chaos oh, war. Right. <laughs> <laughs> it sunk in. It sunk in. Chaos wars for the PS2. See you guys in a bit. Realization. That's twice now the realization hit you, John. It's gonna keep happening. It's gonna keep happening. <laughs> All right. So while we wait, questions? You got questions, we got answers. Well, you have answers. I am. Uh, I might I might have smart ass remarks. <laughs> I need to we turn off the, the heater down here. Holy shit, it is way too warm down here. Dan is a sh as a Chandler? What, like from friends? Camp there? I don't think so because this isn't 2014. <laughs> would you like to buy a vowel? Yes, I would like to buy the letter E, please. At least you're not Joey. Joey doesn't share food. What would you do with Beefaroo if you got him, and why is it munching him? No! Hug. No! Bad Bubba! No! Hug the Beefaroo. I'm protecting my son. Tell me about <laughs> my son <laughs> drinking or and why was it not apple juice? <laughs> it was apple juice. Yeah, Beefaroo was drinking apple juice. Yeah. On a scale of Sonic 06 to Cyberpunk, how bad was AEW's paper? No! No! <laughs> it was actually a good show. The ending took the piss out of it all, but it was a good show. Overall. Okay, I'm gonna give a preemptive warning. Hmm? We may have some loading issues. Disc scratched, I'm guessing? Uh... It looks like there's like little fi fibers on it. What? Not not disc rot. It is not disc rot. But it looks like some like lint might have gotten stuck on it, which is weird because this was a game that someone whoever sold it to me like sealed up inside like a plastic wrapper. Oh. So it shouldn't. Worst case scenario, may just need a cleaning, but at the very least, we should 
have a working game. We'll find out. Let me slap it in the PS2. There we go. What's y'all's favorite meat dishes? Meatloaf. I love meatloaf. Does pepper steak count? Sure. Wait, Horizon, I know what you're thinking. I was gonna say, I was gonna <laughs> no! say you fell for it. You both fucking no! fell for it. Oh! Fudge! God, you're bad at this. <laughs> Fuck. Do I want to play Othello again? Mm. Okay, that's not good. When, when oh. that shuffler comes back. But yeah, that... Man, Revolution. That ending was great. In the stupidest way. I got memed to high hell. Hell, I, even I took a crack at the whole video editing thing for once. Ooh, favorite GameCube game. Ooh. Uh, Pokemon Coliseum's up there. Sonic Adventure 2 Battle! Mm. Kirby Air Ride's definitely also a contender. That one too. Let's see. Melee I like a lot. Um, Pokemon Coliseum. Um, Mario Sunshine. What else? Paper Mario Thousand Your Door was alright, but... Holy shit, some parts of that game drag! That's in your door. No, what are the titles? <sighs> Alright. Wind Waker's definitely up there, yeah. Never played it. Ooh, F0 GX. That's a, really, that's a good one. We should be back. Uh, so let's quickly read some donos and then get to our block. Favorite tag team? I was always a big Hardy's guy, but um, I'm trying to think what would be my actual answer overall. Uh, FTR is probably my favorite modern tag team. All right, Dan says, "God damn it." Yo. <laughs> the Leaf says, "God gamer Proton John, thanks for the points." And Dragon Force Czar says, uh, "Well, I said I'd donate ten bucks if you could make your rocket stay airborne for ten seconds without exploding. It took some trial and error, but you managed to do it. So here you go. I did it. Yay for me. You did it. <laughs> I'm glad someone else actually took you up on the uh, took me up on the butt. <laughs> I'm glad people told me about the symmetry option." <laughs> that made the chaos happen a lot faster. Hell I'm glad yeah. I found that comment. <laughs> uh, all right, let's go to our block. <laughs> Where's the caveman? Art block starts right oh. here with Dora. Oh, join us. Is that Dawn? Yeah, it's Dawn and Dora. Yes. The D's, yes. the demonic D's. Yes. Thanks, nerd. Vom vomonos. Vomonos. All right, next up, some busts. Some busts of busts. So Solstice, what did we learn today? Never trust anything Pon Pon says. Well, at the very least, I suppose I can enjoy being the same height as the average person for once. Well, it looks like Pon Pon had, did indeed make Lucy, myself, and Squirrely John larger, but she decided that BVA could use some interior decorating and volunteered us to be decorations. Some reality bending magic later, and the three of us found a lot of our mass missing, turned into some sort of living bust statue, and set up on display for all to see. We were stuck there for like three hours until John Real rescued us, and thus ends Solstice's first day on the job. P.S. Even when returned to normal, Squirrely John is still small, much to her annoyance. Poor Squirrely. Well, that was your mistake was trusting Pon Pon in the first place, so that's all on you. But hey, at least you had still had your busts. You got to be busts, big busts, bust, bust. It, it loses purpose after that point. Thank you, Crimson. Enjoy. Hope you enjoyed your time as busts. Next. Oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> 
Oh god. Here's also Waluigi in a wild thornberry style or a wild thornberry style. I had to channel my inner chugga. Wouldn't it be smashing to see Waluigi eventually become a playable character in Smash? One can dream though. If Waluigi was put in Smash, but he was voiced as if he was Nigel Thornberry, even if he also looked like Nigel Thornberry, I'd be in. I just want to play as Nigel Thornberry. I really just want Tim Curry to voice a character for me. That's what I want. It's perfect. Thank you, Jacob. Waluigi number one. Next up, this super cute picture from Mika. Last night during Tom Fox's stream, John said that he got some bubble tea. So I drew Chibi Rosa John chilling in space with the games and a drink. Yeah, like I said on Twitter, all you gotta do is change that drink to strawberry banana and then it's pretty much accurate. I usually get strawberry banana smoothie with uh, some green apple jelly in it. That's my usual bubble tea. It's good stuff. Thank you, Mika. It's very lovely. This is otherwise very accurate last night. Next up from Ebot. Uh, ooh, hi, hi, Wang. Here's the color version of the Keyblade I posted before. With the help of the community, I've come up with the finalized name of this Keyblade, Code Splicer. Below this, I want to write some stats that the Keyblade has, which you don't have to read on stream for it might be a lot. Also, if you have any alter ideas you would like to see next, please say so. I'd like to see Jante's key, Keyblade. Yeah, that's a little too much to read. Uh, but thank you, Ebot, for adding those stats. Uh, let's run some countermeasures for good old Highway. Or not. Hi Wang buddy! Thank you so much for the raid as always, dude. Hope you're doing good. Uh, I also missed Van Lapaki earlier as well. Sorry, Van. I think I missed that during the chaos that was Kerbal. We're doing Art Block right now. Uh, we got five minutes of Art Block, then we're going to the next game, which is Chaos Wars for PS2. If you recognize that game's name, I'm sorry. Uh, from Heroin Mari. During the streams, I was sketching out my alt John Cosmo John and had some ideas to expand more on his powers. He's just not a space incubus that put, can put people in sexy trances after all. Yep, some people recognize it. Some people recognize it. Yeah, Samurai, you know what's up, buddy. You're gonna love the hell out of it. You already know what it is anyways. Uh, one of his main powers is uh, summoning these special weapons that look like ships from the shmup games you like to play. Kind of like how Sans from Undertale can summon his gaster blasters and such. They shoot beams at anyone his tar he targets them towards, too. This actually started as a basic sketch, which I later worked on it more and experimented with the lighting on. I'm happy with the final result. Hope you guys enjoy, and I'm glad I can draw my silly fanboy Alt John here. He's very lovely. Thank you, Mari. And thank you for the deadly weapons he now has and will torture people with. Uh, next up. Power Trip. Since tonight is Power Trip, I decided to do a Power Trip-based symmetry drawing. Uh, also, what are your thoughts on the new Ninja Turtles games trailer? Note this post was created before I went to bed, so if you already answered the above question, I'm sorry. Uh, yeah, so for those who don't know, today a new beat-em-up, four-player Ninja Turtles beat-em-up got announced by Dot Emu, which were... I, gotta, I don't remember if they were the actual devs or they were the publishers of Streets of Rage 4. Uh, it looks very charming. It looks heavy on nostalgia. 
Uh, it is based around the, the 80s Turtle series. It looks fun, but I'm going to stay cautiously optimistic because I have been disappointed with good-looking Ninja Turtle games in the past. Because uh, there's too many examples at this point. <laughs> Uh, also, uh, I was disappointed at first with Streets of Rage 4, and then I felt better about it later when they patched it, so it might be another case of that. So I'm just gonna stay cautiously optimistic for now. It makes me want to play River City Ransom Underground again. <laughs> yeah, I can see that. But and way, new, new Turtles game going back to 89 series is honestly boring and safe. Yeah, because they're also doing it because they know that'll make them the most money, because most of the people that will buy it were the people who played all the 80, 80s games. That's why they're doing it. I agree. I would love to see a Rise of the Ninja Turtles game done in that style. It won't happen. But I would love to see that. Thank you, Blake, for the symmetry drawing. Will we have a stream based off that game? I will stream that when it comes out, but there's no date revealed for it. The devs of the TMNT game are the ones who made the GBA TMNT game and the Scott Pilgrim beat them up. Uh... <laughs> that doesn't give me confidence. That might have actually lowered my excitement a little bit. Next up, Tiny Crab. Now, I made an art also today is slash was my birthday. Nice art crab. Crab. Cute crab. Thank you, Ice Crab. 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 Tiny Crab. People. Crab people. Next up, Knives, Peter Griffin. And a third character from Master Wabbit. Long time watcher, first time uploader. So I never saw the film that the game was based on, but if Rambo was fighting Peter Griffin and a chunky Kelsey Grammer, who am I to judge? I didn't even see the Peter Griffin one, but I'm pretty sure you're right on that. This is perfect. <laughs> this holy is very, 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 holy crap. Very, holy crap, Lois, he's got a knife. Hey, Peter. Hey, Peter. <laughs> hey, Peter, I'm here to stab you. <laughs> and why is, why is Fraser here? Why is he talking about tossed salad and scrambled eggs? Thank you, Master Wabbit. This is very nice. <laughs> I was like, I don't even remember mentioning Peter Griffin, but I guess I missed that ch chat saying that. It makes sense. Next up, from Senshi. 21st birthday. I finally got it done, right on time, too. And the reason the card is so important is because it's my birthday today. I can't give bits, but I did order a Rosa John hoodie for my birthday. So close enough, right? I apologize if this is lengthy. Also, it's not only my birthday, but tomorrow will make it one year since I started sharing my art. I'm honestly surprised how much I've grown as an artist this past year and the amount of confidence I've gained in my art as well. I want to thank you for giving me that opportunity by building a great art community. Oh, happy birthday, Senshi. And thank you so much. I love the art. I'm glad that you felt like you've had so much improvement too with your art. I'm glad that so many people I'm glad so many people have been feeling that way with the with the art community and everything. It was because you're still on a person who sounded like Joe Swanson. Okay, so it was just because it sounded like Joe Swanson. Okay. That makes sense. And since... And I since... since you, what? I still love the fact that Shift has a fucking Joe Swanson four-parter. Hey, emo. Peter. <laughs> of course it's a four-part. Good Thank lord. Thank you, Shift. Uh, and since, uh, since she brought it up, for those who weren't aware, exclamation merch... Uh, should link you to this. The shop. We have a shop now. Uh, you can buy, uh, TRG shirts, you can buy Proton John Egg Farm shirts, and you can buy, officially and finally, the Rosa John hoodie. They're all real things that are on a two-week remaining pre-order limit. And then after that, we'll have a bit in stock, and they'll come back eventually, but if you want a guaranteed print, I would get on it now. You got two weeks to hop in on it. Uh, will I be able to buy, get a Rosedown hoodie in 3XL? 3XL is as high as it goes. Uh, the shirts go up to 5XL, the hoodie goes to 3XL. You can also use PayPal now, because I know in the past, or when we first launched the site, we didn't have PayPal accessible. So two more weeks for the guaranteed first run of the hoodie, and then it should be like a small in-stock, out-of-stock situation. There should be a restocking someday, I was under that impression. But if you, for guaranteed, for sure, want one now, I would buy one now if you can. All right. And with that, let's, uh, let's see what, what we've done. Let's see what we've done. This is going to go bad. 
Oh, I need to check something too now that I think about it. How many of the hoodies did we actually... How many Rosa John hoodies are going to be out in the wild? What's the stats? I'm looking it up. I'm looking it up. It's taking a while to load. <laughs> uh, wow. <laughs> Oh, a hundred and fifty-three Rosa John hoodies are going to be out in the Damn. world. That's a lot of hoodies. Space magic not included. Space magic not included. There's also <laughs> apparently we sold a hundred TRG shirts and we sold fifty-seven egg farm shirts. So yeah, there you go. People are excited about the TRG shirt too. Not bad. That's going to be a lot of Rosa hoodies. <laughs> <laughs> You have no idea how much pride I'll have wearing that hoodie. I can't believe, I can't believe that it's become a thing. It's insane. It feels weird and surreal that it's going to actually be a thing. All right. This is Chaos Wars for the PlayStation 2. I don't know if you, I don't know if I want to spoil why, why it's so renowned and well-known. Or if we just want to say it immediately. But, uh. Buckle up is all I'm going to say. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Dropping cords. Let the game speak for itself. Ha <laughs> ha. Huh. <laughs> Tiger. Please load. Please load. It's loading. Oh, what? Ah, oh, shit. Hang on. Aww. Ah, oh, I thought that one had room. Embrace it, tiger. Embrace your creation. Is tiger worried about the hoodie existing? Oh, no. Uh, let me see if I can find this message. You think it's surreal? I'm the one who made it, and I'm still not convinced it's real. Mm. That's what he says. Fair point. <laughs> All right, this is Chaos Wars. Oh, baby. I'm gonna remain sound for this. I don't know when it's gonna kick in. I might actually have to, uh... What All right, if there's a cut, if you're watching the VOD and it just did a jump cut, that means Sound Horizon fucked over the VOD and it got blocked in multiple countries. If you saw that intro, it just means I'm not getting any money for this video. Let's see here. Text, uh, voice English. That's right, baby. Let's go. Yes. It's time. Oh boy. Chaos Wars. This story has no relation with any existing works. I had a dream. The mountain behind the school, there is this pillar of light from the hillside. I saw a mysterious world over the pillar. I found the world in back of the cave on the hillside. Chipping firm ground, white shining tower, the sun that does not move on top of the tower. The odd world like a miniature, though it has everything. I figured it out once. This is it. Because I heard it from my grandpa many times. There is a hidden cave in the mountains. The founder of the Kusaka came through the shrine behind it from another world. If you pray to that god, any wish is said to be granted. It could not be found after looking for it all over the mountains. I cannot believe that it will appear when the time comes. I thought it was absurd. That's why I wanted to confirm. 
no way that such a thing exists. Hey, Hyoma, why are we looking for it again? We looked for it before, right? We couldn't find it. We haven't seen any caves or remains or anything around here. We know everything about the mountain behind the school. This has been like my playground since I was little. She's right. We've looked all over the place just because you told us there's treasure out here. Did I ask you two to come? No, you volunteered to come yourselves. I don't understand. Why do you want to do this again all of a sudden? It's your grandpa's story, right? There's this mysterious cave that can make any of your dreams come true. I had a dream. I saw light shooting out of the mountain and there was a cave. A dream. Since when did you become such a superstitious guy? Believing in stuff like that. That's why I didn't ask you to come. It's a perfect excuse to ditch school, that's all. It's cute that you have to have a reason to ditch school. I like it that you're earnest, even though it's kind of a halfway. Your mother should be proud of you. Shut up! Why don't you go home if you don't want to help me? Whoa! Was that there before? Is that what we're looking for? That's exactly how it was in my dream. Are you serious? Wait, but there was nothing here before. Did you make this cave, Hyoma? Right, like I've got time to go around digging caves to trick you. Let's check it out. See if there's a shrine or something. Wow, it's like a movie! Aliens could be hiding in here! It took us forever to find this place, but still it looks like no treasure. What's this? A computer or something? Maybe we can sell it at Akihabara. Idiot. So, is this the thing that makes wishes come true? Let's see. These lines... Are these letters? How does it work? Help me. Shizuku, did you say something? No. Why? What? It's moving! Hey, what's this? <laughs> Some kind of warning? A scarecrow. Or something. Kind of pointless, though. Down here with no crows. No time for jokes! What's going on here? I'm afraid to ask anyway. Shit. Alright, let's see what else this game has. Hey, we're not paid enough to do this voice acting, I swear Don't to god. Any closer. A girl! Those monsters aren't in the record. Were they summoned from another dimension? It's too late to find out anyway. That's the end of them. Hi, Gate Master. Long time no see. Where's Froggy? <laughs> you? What are you doing here? I'm Yoichi of the Luin. I know you well, Gatemaster. I can't tell you why I'm here. Let's 
just say I was looking for someone to play with. You guys didn't do this, did you? How did you open the gate? It's easy to ask, but you should figure it out on your own this time. You thought you were the only one who could open the Salmon Gate? What? <laughs> the Salmon Gate? There should be only one Gate Master. Oops! I have to go now. My <laughs> friends will be angry. <laughs> My planet needs me. I have an errand to run, so I guess I'll see you later. Or not. Wait. Yeah, so the story behind this game is that the uh, voice director apparently got a lot of his family members and friends involved, and they all kind of did this without being paid. So that's mainly why it sounds like it does. I was kidding when I said that. What the fuck? No, that's actually why this game is so notorious. That sounds illegal, though. Not in whatever fucking year this came out. 2008. Eight. Wow, that's later than what? I thought. Wow, we were like deep into the PS3, uh, the PS3 at that point. Oh, in this mode, there's, it's just it's back to actually being the proper game. I yeah, guess. I don't know if you guys realize this, like, PS2 games were coming out until, like, 2011. Oh, yeah, that's true. We, um, I'm trying to remember, I think I had SmackDown vs. Raw 2010, and that was PS2. Tutorial option. Do you want to view the game instruction manual? It's recommended to read this first if you haven't read the booklet. See the tutorial. Story always played every time. Please read the explanation for each attack action. Level movement is not divided into square boxes in Chaos Wars. Movement distance is decided by each character's movement skill. Oh, end of 2013 is when they made the last PS2 game. So yeah, PS2 was going until 2013. Damn. The movement command is selected. A red area around the character will be indicated. This is called the available movement circle and the character can move inside of this area. However, even at the circle, uh, there are certain places you cannot move into. Such as a gap that's too high to jump or a place geographically impossible to access. In that case, the movement select locator shown on the cursor will appear in red. Also, you can move as many times as you like until the movement count goes down to zero. It's shown in the upper left of the screen during the move. The movement count you use will be added to your character's weight number, so you should keep that in mind. Battle start. And then the Japanese voices are back. Chick bug. I have 412 weight. God, she got heavy. <laughs> Stand by. Stand by information. Character's actions will be completed with the standby command. If standby selected, all the weight increased by actions will be added and updated to the action queue. The fewer actions the character takes, the sooner its next turn will come. If no action was made and a character just waited, a small weight amount was to be added. Gasp. What am I gonna do? I can't get away from it. Help me, somebody! What's that light? I'm here! Ouch! Hey, what happened? Shizuku, Hayate, are you guys okay? Were they teleported here? Are you alright? Who are you? And where is this anyway? I'm Rin, you're in India, and... Key. What is that thing? I don't know either. A monster summoned from a different dimension, I think. What are you talking about? How can I believe such a... Wait, are we really in a different dimension? Don't get mad at me, I'm just answering your question. Am I saying something wrong? You asked me a question, so you should listen to me. Sorry, alright? Don't be sulky. 
I'm not sulky, I think you just... Okay. Uh. Uh. Isn't it gonna attack you? Oh yeah, right, I totally forgot that I was being attacked. <laughs> Priorities. You should have told me sooner, idiot! You can't call me names! Okay. You guys just call cool it, okay? Is there anything I can use for a weapon? Just a stick. Oh, better than nothing, I guess. I don't care anymore! I just feel like fighting now! Alright, oh, give him the stick. Hioma joined as an ally. Claw. Stick it to him, John. Wow, missed in a back attack. That's impressive. We're we playing Chaos Ward or XCOM. Okay, listen to me one more time. How can I listen to you in this situation? It's important. I don't have my wand, so I can't use any attack spells. Why well, it doesn't take my input half the time? I can't really use a sword either, but I have healing spells, so hang in there. Says the person who's been hit first. Spells? So this really is another dimension. All you wanted to say was you fight and I'll just watch. I like the beat up on monster hide anyway. Skill use. If you select the skill command, then the character uses the skill they master to attack an enemy or heal an ally. When you select a skill, the object select marker marble will appear. By moving the target cursor, you can determine which target you want the skill to be used on. There are two types of skills, single and multiple. Multiple skills act on all the targets in the affected area. In this case, a character in the middle of the area shows target, and the other character displays the down cursor. Alright, Rin, you might want to heal, I guess. And we only took one damage, apparently. Well, might as well. Lose the tutorial, John? I can't! We're stuck in it! I can't go any faster. <laughs> We're here! We gotta ride it out now! Oh, I need to end her turn first, right? Alright, she's almost a thousand pounds! Sword attack, cross cut. Why can't I use any of these? Or is that just X just there for style? This game is slow. Yep, that's a tactical turn based game for you. I mean, you're. All you have is heal, so you ain't doing shit for a while. You just you wait in that corner, think about what you've done. <laughs> Cross cut. Don't kill. Wow. Okay, everything is up apparently. My up sword! I love my up sword! What's an up sword? I don't know, what's up with you? Ba -da -ba -ba -da -ba. Hey, that's it, right? I think so. That's all the monsters. 
What is this different dimension business anyway? What happened to my wish? You said your name was Rin? Is this place really a different... Wait, just a minute. What? You asked too many questions. I don't even know your name. And what's worse, you don't listen to me. You need to learn how to be well-mannered. Kusaki Hiyoma, freshman at uh, Tsukiyoka High School. The cave in the mountains started to glow, and next thing I knew, I was here. That's pretty much everything I know at this point. You happy now? Uh, fine. Did you see how polite I was while you were talking? I didn't interrupt you or call you names. I knew you didn't get over it. I am over it! Whatever. So where are we? India, like I said. See, you weren't listening. This is outside of the world you know. You don't make any sense. Are you saying this is the this is outer space or something? I don't know what outer space is, but it's not here because you seem to know what outer space is. This is where the drifters come from different worlds. India is the name of this very small enclosed world. In the end of the world, that's India. You mean like a parallel world? Exactly! Parallel like sides of a wall. This world must have been an especially thin wall, so sometimes beings from the other side just slip through, just like you. We call them knights in India. Knights? Why? Not drifters or something, but knights? Sounds funny, don't you think? Most of the time they have some kind of special power. Well, we have a stick. I think that's why we call them that, but I don't really know since it's such an old thing. You're a big help. Yeah, I know. I don't know anything, and I can't fight. I'm good for nothing. I'm sorry, that came out a little wrong. You are my feelings, Hioma. You're very high maintenance. You know that, right? Mission complete! Rank C. We got a burned sickle, a beat-up cape, a sword attack, a leather boots, a young devil's horn, and a dried grass. All right, now that the stage is over, we should get back to the voice acting. Hooray! Burned sickle is acquired. Okay, I guess we're just... Yes, I know, I'm getting all these. Thank you. Now I think I've got my head around this different dimensions business, but how do I get back to Tokyo? What's Tokyo? The world I came from. How do I get back to where I came from. Oh, that. Sorry, I pressed too early. Um, well, the thing is... Ah! Oh! <laughs> every time, every time it does that. Oh my god, what the fuck? Another one! Another one. Let's meet up with my friend from around here. Okay, where? Rin, where have you been without your wand? I have it here for you. Come on, let's go, hero! Wait! Why? Why do we have to run? I said wait, Rin! Stand with me! Who is she, your friend? I met her this morning. Her name's Hiro. She's also a knight. You can just ask her yourself, you know? While we're running like this? Oh, well, I'm Hiro, just like she said. How about you? Kasaka Hyoma. That's about it. So, can I ask you why we're running? <laughs> um, cause we're being chased? Obviously, but why? Can I explain after we get out of here? Hey, Rin! Yes? Are we safe yet? We went so far. Yeah, it looks...
looks like we got away okay. So as I was saying... Uh, what was it that you were saying? How do I get back to my world? You haven't told me yet. Oh, right. That. Well, see, there is no way to get back. Unless... Unless nothing. There is no way to get back. Period. You're kidding, right? You said the wall was thin around here. If that's how it works, then of course there should be a way to go back. I guess theoretically that should be the way it works. But it just doesn't seem to. There's no way out of Endia for some reason. It's just not acceptable. I have to go back. They need me there. Maybe you just don't know how. Excuse me. I am the gate master, you know. What's that? A person in charge of the gateway between Endia and other dimensions. I don't really know much more than you do, though. In charge of what? There are some portals in this world that connect to other dimensions. We call them gate terminals. Pretty much anybody can use these gate terminals at a low authorization level. But you have to have a special skill called mental connection to use them at a high authorization level. A person who has that skill is a gate master. I couldn't care less about that. What? I was trying so hard to make it easier for you to understand. Yoma, I agree with you. Hero, I thought you were on my side. <laughs> no, I, I do appreciate your explanation. What I meant was that I agree that I need to find a way out of here, just like Yoma. Okay, I get it. You guys think I'm a good for nothing, right? Wait. I don't think you understood me very well, but let's just move on for now. Hero, join as an ally. You know, if you close your eyes, it sounds like she's just having a conversation with herself. Yeah, it kind of does. All right, let's save all that hot, hot progress. Game clearing, John? How long is this game? Someone said there's only one entry on how long to beat for it. Hang on, let me see. What's this game? Uh, Chaos Wars? <laughs> no, thank you. 70 hours. That was a lot of screaming just then. I almost want to reload to hear that again. Set, yeah, the only entry on how long to beat right now is 70 hours for completionist. I'm good. already that's just a bunch of chick bugs you scared of them I thought you were more the tough guy type who's scared not me so let's see how you'll handle them meanwhile you have what looks to be like an axe oh that's a scythe oh my god and we have a stick I recognize a couple of these characters. Time to fight a treasure chest. Wow, there are a lot of them. Should we take them on one by one? Hyoma will attack them as a group. Follow me. Why don't you follow me? He's got guts, all right. Let's go! Group attack information. Group attacks increase damage to the enemy as all your whole group attacks simultaneously. It's a powerful attack, but you have to meet some conditions in order to do it. One, your enemy needs to be in attack range. Two, all of the people who will be in the group attack have to have some S gauge left over. If the conditions to make a group attack are met, the exclamation symbol appears above a face in the action queue. 
Once any of the characters in the group attack enter counterattack mode, then group attack ends. What are you teaching me about now, game? Sh oh, skill shift information. While you're using a skill, sometimes it changes to a completely different skill. This is called a skill shift. A skill shift means the skill changed, but not necessarily that it was upgraded. It might shift to something better, but be aware that this is not the purpose of the shift. You can lock skills so they don't shift anymore. You can lock a skill at the character status skill list screen. You can operate this process during battle, so when you get a skill you want, you'll be able to lock it in. Well, I can't use any of these, so. <laughs> okay, in a tactics game, why the hell would I ever want that? Real question there. Alright, what moves does she have now? She still just has Cure. What do you have? Sword Attack, Slash, and Burn. Oh, that'll hit. Call Chaos Wars for a reason, Dan. No, that's yeah, Chaos Wars, not bad mechanics. Oh, that is a mimic. Call me old-fashioned, but whenever I play a tactics game, I like to plan every goddamn move out so I don't feel like having my skills shift around on me to something completely different and completely throw my plan off. Like, I, I may be a little weird on that one, but... Oh shit, how do I do the... It's giving an exclamation point, how do I do it? Oh, here we go. Let's also do sword attack. Yeah, you can lock the skills, but like, watch this. Lock, 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 literally every skill so I don't have to. I will take that mechanic out, thank you very much. There's really not much going on here otherwise. This is reminding me of some like games on PS3 like Mugen Wars and stuff like that. Or Mugen Souls rather. And cross, uh, cross something. Shit, what's the one that has Morrigan in it? Uh, that might have been Mugen Souls, actually. The fuck is that game that Nipponichi put out that had a bunch of Capcom? Not, uh, cross, it's not cross zone. Oh, it is cross zone, yes! It's not cross zone as in the 3DS one, but I think it's it literally just called cross edge. I think it's called cross edge. Yes, it is called Cross Edge. Okay. I'm getting similar vibes to, to this game. It's not quite the same. Here, let me just show you the box or if you've never seen this. Because some people are thinking I mean Project Cross Zone on the 3DS. I mean this game. Cross Edge. This is another a bunch of different IPs cross over together. Because you can see Etna there from Disgaea and Apprini. You can see Morrigan and Lilith. Uh, I think that might even be Dimitri in the background. 
It's a couple different IPs mixed together. All right, let's see if we can end this. Let's use sle- What is this cube? What the? Enjoy cube! Deadly fumes. Alright, who needs to be healed this time? Is it still Hero? It's. No, it's Yoma this time. Wait, yo, is this that game where the English voice actors and the characters didn't give a fuck? Sure is, Maniacal. Sure is, Maniacal. Kill this treasure chest. Look, we're doing we're just doing the exact same moves back over and over and over again. That's still not gonna have to kill. Oh, just enough. Holy shit. Finally. All right, let's kill this thing. Oh my god, it can still reach too. Holy shit. We did it. Okay, but John, what are you doing Lunar DS? Nope, I'm good. Fuck no! We did it! I told you I wasn't scared of anything! I guess you're not just a big mouth. He's a good fighter, but he needs to work on his manners. Will you just let that go for now? Never! That's just how guys are. It's not a big deal. I don't think you're worthless at all. Oh, by the way, I should return this wand to you now. Why didn't you do that earlier, hero? Good lord. Yeah, my wand! I forgot all about it! You should always keep your weapon with you. I was just gonna get some food and come right back. Dimwit. I just thought, well... We won! B rank. Maximum combo, one. Oh nice, we got a broken fork. John, your voice acting is better than the game. That's not hard. Just like I expected. They handled it well. <laughs> My mistake. They're better than I thought. You didn't really think a bunch of little bugs could actually beat some knights, did you? Well, I wasn't expecting two new knights were gonna be here, though. You aren't... How did you like this little monsterly welcome party? You did this to us? Who are you anyway? Young Gatemaster, 
Long time no see. And I suppose we haven't met, Knights. The secret organization. Luwin. That actually exists? Of course it does. Right here before your very eyes. I heard that Luwin will do anything to get a key. That sounds like us. <laughs> a key? Something else I have no idea about. The keys open the gates to the different dimensions, and to summon those with special skills. The most powerful treasures in all of India. The keys should only be used to open the gate and to bring a new era to India. They're not for your personal gain. Fools! What? I said fools. You don't really know anything about the keys, do you? I know they open I doors. Use the key for what they're made for. And garages. Whatever reasons you have, you still can't commit crimes like that. And turn on cars. There's no excuse for what you've been doing. And to find the light. <laughs> she sure and is passionate. So God damn it. <laughs> Beat you to it, and you're gonna do it. Why do you act so tough? Virtue should be honored. Acting like a bad guy is something a kid would do. Whatever. Gatemaster, we're not here to discuss this. We are just collecting keys. You have one with you, correct? No, I don't. But even if I did, I wouldn't give it to you. So be it. I'll fight you myself this time. Gate masters don't have any other skill than opening the gates. I like that this guy looks like he's wearing a safety vest, just in case he has to like do a crossing guard job at some point. Are you oh forgetting my God. about us? I, I totally see it. I'm not gonna let you boss me around either. You won't be able to stand in my way. Not yet at least. Yeah, you gotta grind for like 50 levels first. You still don't know what to do with your power as a knight. <sighs> Fine, if you all wanna ignore me like this. You all? That probably includes us too. I guess. We should stop teasing her already. <sighs> <laughs> What? What's happening? Ridiculous. Is she trying to transport without a gate? Hero Hyoma, don't move. I think I can transport without a gate if we just go to a random destination. Hey, are you sure about this? Not totally, but I can't think of any other way to get away from here. If it doesn't work, I'm sorry. We don't really have any choice. Let's hope it works. How can you be so calm? It better work. I don't know for sure, but let me try. That's not good enough. Wait. I like that Hilma's at least trying. Here we go. Ah, the gray screen. I love this one. They got away. I didn't think she could do that. I guess she's a gate master after all. <laughs> I like how he's laughing reading the fucking line like, this is stupid, dude. Brett, why am I reading this? Corpsing, send You're for the man. You're not gonna go after them? If she doesn't have a key, then it's pointless. That's true. If they get in our way next time, then we'll take care of them. <laughs> Are we done? I feel dizzy. Oh, good grief. We made it. We made it? Didn't you know what you were doing? No. This was the first time I tried it. You're unbelievable! Well, but it turned out okay. So that was nice. Right? You're right, Rin. I don't feel so great since I got here, and I didn't really want to fight back there either. By the way, where are we? It looks a lot different than where we were before. 
Let's see. Ah, uh, looks like we're on Radiance Island. You see, there's the World Tree, and the city's down there. Isn't it a bit far? That huge tree looks forever far from here. I know, it's strange. The tree can't be that far from anywhere on this small island. Let's just get going. We should get to the city before it gets dark. Dark? Well, what do you what do you mean? If the sun goes down, it'll be dark, right? What are you talking about? The sun never goes anywhere. So there's no night in this world? Well, of course there is. You really are strange. Rin, I need you to tell me a little more about this world. Can you talk to me as we walk to the city? Only if you promise to listen and not interrupt me. Okay, okay. You're really persistent. Because you keep ignoring me. Hey, buddy. Don't make me take a side. Anyway, no, tell us first about you. the sun. The last land of the world, India. There's a sun that never sets, and the Tower of Life holds the sun in the center of India. The sun is in the middle of the sky, but the light gets weak, and we call that night. Water flows out from the Tower of Life endlessly, and that creates the ocean that is overflowing at the edge of the world. There are big islands and small islands in the ocean, and people live on those islands. And it doesn't keep moving the dialogue for some reason. That's a general description of this world. Now you're listening. I said I'm sorry, okay? Now that we know a little more about where we are, we have to think about what to do from now on. The ocean? Why? Are we on Radiance Island? Um, I guess we're on an island near Radiance. What are we gonna do? It's too far to swim across. Are we gonna have to build a boat? Look, there is a house. Maybe we can stay there. Start a new life. We'll see. Maybe we'll get lucky. Hello? Anybody home? No one's here? That's even better. Are you sure? Who cares? Let's go check it out. It's not all that old, but no one's lived here for quite a long time, I think. I don't know if we should go in. Finally, Jesus! <laughs> Was just waiting to save, that's all. Finally! All right, well, uh, we can, I, I'm going to click this for a second in case it gives us a tiny bit more dialogue, but I'm otherwise good to go to the next game. Yeah, no voice dialogue, I'm good. Yeah, okay, there's no yep. voice, we're good. Freedom. Hey, look at that, we're going to the next game. Hey, look at that, we need, we can turn off the PS2. <laughs> Thank you, Ryuzine, for the choice. That that was some amazing voice acting. I can definitely see why that's as notorious as it is. Oh, and I definitely know there's a clip that's out there that even has, like, even more ridiculous dialogue. Man, what the hell just happened there? Uh, that we haven't seen. I kind of want to go... Should I just show that clip? Let's just show that clip. Yes. Let's give you guys the full experience of Chaos Force. Let me go find it. Uh... I believe it's just called Chaos Wars Bad Voice Acting. I'm pretty sure that's the one. So this is the clip that is why people know what Chaos Wars is. Mm, let's see. What am I hungry for? Don't buy anything yet. We have a shopping list. We need to hurry. Everyone is waiting for us. Screaming! 
me. It came from the bag alley. Sounds like a girl. I'll go check it out. Haha, <laughs> this lady is sleeping on the street. <laughs> Did she faint? What the fuck? Seeing a monster or something? Haha. <laughs> I should probably see if she's hurt. Are you okay? Should I hold her up? Huh? <sighs> Lady, you can't fate every time you see a little monster. <sighs> hey, are you up? Monsters. That's too bad. They're gone now. You smell good. <laughs> Bro, you hey, can't ooh, say shit like me. that. Alice, I'm so glad you're safe. Thank you so much. I thank you so much. No problem. We can't stay in this alley, so let's go somewhere nicer. Good idea. I'm starving too. Oh, speaking of which... You really can call me Uru. I'm Karen. Alice Elliot, call me Alice. Alice, I like that. I'm the pet. Her <laughs> uncle. <laughs> That's too bad. He's what? I'm the pet. Her uncle. What was okay? Someone said there was another one that's more well known. Where's the other one? Can can pop that back in chat, please? What the fuck? I'm the pet. Puppet Master. I think that's the one. Her uncle. If I can click it. Oh my God, I can't click it. There we go. Got it. Oh my God. Oh yeah, this is the one. This is the one. So, can you move, Uru? Karen? Wow. I really can't move my body. What did you do, Nicole? Perfume de Zigitaris. A type of muscle relaxant gas. You probably don't understand the logic, but you can't feel the effects, no? No, really. It's great. I can't tense my muscles at all. <laughs> I'm done with your nonsense. I'll take your Tengayo away. Be careful. You'll probably get sick, just like when you eat rotten food off the ground. It's okay, Uru. Just relax and let it go. I'll be done in a second. I don't really want your twisted love. I really don't. Stop it, Nicole. I can't move. Is anyone there? I know you guys are having fun, but could you stop a sec and tell me why I am involved with this? Who's having fun? I'm in a load of trouble, just so you know. I'm sorry. You don't have anything to do with this. Karen is so nice. Did you hear that? It's all your fault. Too bad. I can't care less about her. I'll take care of her after I get your Tangaya. What? You can't say stuff like that. You could ruin your reputation. Nico. Listen to yourself, she has nothing to do with this. Like I said, I don't care. I'll kill her if I feel like it. It doesn't matter to me. You're going too far. That's not funny anymore, you know. Are you freaking out, Uru? That's amusing. Let's change the plan, then. I'll kill her first. Uru, you can just lie down and enjoy the show. What? I didn't see that coming at all! Blame Uru, little girl. It's all because of him. Stop it. Come on and get me. Or are you too scared? <laughs> you make me laugh, Uru. But you have to wait your turn. Be a good boy. And wait. Well, well. I don't even know you. But you need to die. 
just for the pure pleasure of it. Jump! What, do you know them? You swine. What do you think you're doing? That's my question. I know. What are you doing? That's just wrong, dude. I'm gonna hurt you badly. I mean really badly. That's it. That's that video. Uh, yeah, Chaos War is notorious for its voice acting, as you can see. Chaos War's voice acting 7 is even better. You need to hear Zeros. I would, but we, we kind of got to get the stream back on track, man. We've already we've already gone through two of them. The fuck? Here's a fixed version of that scene. Oh, it's just redubbed and retranslated, looks like. Neat. That hurt, John. Yeah, now, now, I remember seeing that when that video was new. If you noticed uh, on the screen, the video date was June 5th, 2009. It's been pretty notorious for a long time. That voice acting damn near put me to sleep. Alright, let's bring things back on track. Thank you, Resign, for the game choice, but let's pick another game. Alright. Uh. Hmm. What's the word gonna be this time? Uh. Key? Key. Yeah. Key with two E's. Key. If you join in late, this is Power Trip. We do a raffle. Whoever wins the raffle picks the next game we play. That's why we played Chaos Wars. We've been all... I think all the games we've been on tonight, we've been on them for a long time, so we might... Mm, we might. Let's see. Not sure if we'll get a fifth game in. We might be doing just four tonight. We'll see. But, uh... They've been choices tonight. They've been interesting choices. I'm just trying to picture what would happen if, like, if, like, WWE promos, like, some of the most energetic, some of the best of all time, like, anything The Rock did, just that, that style of delivery. The jabroni beating, pie eating, la 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 la, trail blazing. <laughs> One Jabroni. minute on the clock, starting now. <laughs> 325 yes. people entered in right now. This is so current, WD promos, right, Dan? Yeah. <laughs> Scott Steiner math, but Chaos Wars. Oh, God. Oh, God. So you see, no, they say you, all men are created equal, but not me. I'm a <laughs> genetic freak. And I'm not normal. <laughs> oh my god. Who posts my nudes on tuttwitter.com? <laughs> this is a call I post on twitter.com. Shadow the Hedgehog's a bitch-ass motherfucker. Too much personality. Too much personality. Fuck. Rolling it. Red mimicry. Congratulations. Time for a power trip. What game are we playing next? <laughs> oh. <laughs> what do you got, Red? Let's find out. Tonight's been an interesting night. Where are we going from here? Sonic Unleashed, the Wii version. That's Ooh. the one I haven't played. 
This is gonna be interesting. All right. You know what? At least it's not Sonic and the Secret Rings. See, I like Unleashed the 360 version, but I've never played the Wii one. Have you played? Oh man, isn't Sonic Unleashed like actually backwards compatible with the the Series X or whatever it is? Yes, and there's like no slowdown. Apparently, it's like really good. Yeah, I was actually about to wonder if you played that like that way. The Wii one is much different than the 360 version. I've heard that a lot. I've seen my friends play the Wii version, but I myself have not actually played either version, so I have no fucking clue what we're in for. Alright, let's drop some eggs. After I close all these Chaos Wars opening videos I have, apparently. Developed by Dimps. Huh. Yeah, no, I remember there was a that was the main difference. It was Sonic Team was 360 PS3 and Dimps did uh, Wii and PS2. Uh, Emrys rhymes with Abyss. Thank you for the gift sub. Immortal Seeker for 77. Samurai Snake for 66. Metal Victini for 28. Drops of Moonlight for 33. Seg plays. Or sorry, Segway plays for uh, 17. Storm Rider for 71, Tim's Retro Sessions for 14, TBG Hunter for 52, and uh, Blaumajir for 80. Thanks, everybody. Your eggs tonight are courtesy of the following people. Why are there so many eggs in the carton? Uh. <laughs> okay, you know what? I'm okay with it because this is the one we're starting with from Zandoshi. You will give me Kiki. You will give me. Ah! That's so clear, Jesus. <laughs> I need to hear it again. You will give me- ah, ah! Still with a totally real sound that a monster makes. You will give me- ah, 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 ah! <laughs> Ryu sign with Chaos Wars sound- Chaos Wars sounds egg. You will give me an- ah! I'm so glad that just those three card, those three eggs are just the same fucking sound. I, I got both. Are you going to make this alert soon? And please don't make that an alert. <laughs> Philip Draco with John's Magical Adventure. Come with me on a magic adventure. Magical adventure! Magical adventure! Oh god. <laughs> I didn't like it. <laughs> I didn't like it, it's true. Uh, I can't pa argue with that. It's true. Pantaro with It's Alright Now Because I am here. And with John announcing the name of this egg before playing it, I have successfully assembled All Might's catchphrase while using zero My Hero Academia footage. Thus, ensuring the VOD safety. You're welcome. God damn it, I just realized what he why he said that. Because the first line is I am here. Just like All Might says. Thanks, Pantaro. Pantaro also sends in Crashy McSplode Egg. 60 Jumbo Egg. Thanks. 49 Jumbo Egg. Thanks. Green Day with Just Play Tom doing opera. Shit. Just play your fucking music. We didn't start the fire. It was always burning since the world's been turning. We didn't start the fire. The fuck? I was listening to that. No one ever remembers the second half. <laughs> Game fan with there will never be a war ten day. Chaotic doctor with uh help. Uh John, hi, Doc here. Um so Tails missed and uh 
I have the beef through now. They're sleeping. It's adorable. Uh, I'll figure out how he missed Canada from Texas, as anyone's guess, but whatever. Anyway, I'll just let him sleep and pet him and then send him back. He's cute. Bye. Tails, did you fire him out of a cannon? <laughs> how did you miss Canada? In the wrong direction. All right. We're going to go to break. When we come back, we will be playing Sonic Unleashed for the Wii. See you guys in a bit. Okay. <laughs> I'm not entirely sure. That That's fair. That makes two of us. So, Alita went to bed because she wasn't feeling well. So, he's just me. What do you got for me, chat? She'll be fine. Uh, yeah, Ilya's actually awake. She just said in mod room, like, I'm I'm still awake. <laughs> I'm just not Ow. on call. Oh. I thought she went to bed. Huh. Hello. Oh, she lied down. Never mind. That's what I read. What's up, Bubba? That's going good. How are you... How are you handling everything? You chose your words real carefully on that one, didn't you? <laughs> I've been... I've... You <laughs> know, Normally... been, been better. Been better. That's all I'll say about that. Well, today we found out we have... To replace the front car seat, which is going to cost about a thousand bucks. Because the sensor for the airbag is making so the front passenger seat is making so none of the airbags are working. Trying to think what games I'm looking forward to. Uh, I got a early uh, a beta, uh, close beta key for uh, my time in Sandrock. I can't wait until it becomes open beta slash early access, so I can start streaming the game. <laughs> Snap, yeah. I kind of wonder if John would do that for game clearing. Oh, what, new Pokemon Snap? Or... Yeah. Hmm. Because he did, to my understanding, he likes, liked, using the word like in a loose term, but like the regular Pokemon Snap. Any tips on how to beat Terra's final boss in Birth by Sleep? You got mind you got mind square or mind what the fuck is it? Mind square or mind circle? Whatever the hell the mind commands are. The Thunder other game using mind squares. The other game I'm looking forward to is uh, the next game for game clearing. I was actually not expecting any of my choices to ever get picked for the whole year. For those who missed it, uh, next game is uh, Tronbon Misadventures. Which both me and Ryan got our pick. I have not seen any footage of that game or like anything about that game. What, wait, what's the worst playing KH game and why is it the first 30% of KH1? Have you played Dream Drop Distance? That's a bold statement to make without saying 3D. Essentially, think of it 
depending on the type of levels, they can be, a. Uh, you're trying to rob various places to get enough money to pay off a loan. Oh. So trying to get your kneecaps busted, got it. Basically, yes. I counter with Chain of Memories. Guy, bullshit. Guy, I speedrun Chain of Memories. That game's not nearly as bad. Well, of course you're going to defend it. Because you speedrun it. Just like oh, I'll not, defend it. Well, yeah, I'm going to defend it because I know that game inside and out. <laughs> Recom, on the other hand, sucks. I'm trying to think the worst game I've ever played. Oh, wait. Uh, Star Trek The Next Generation Future's Past. Which version do I run? Game Boy Advance. Coded to by far the worst. Well, yeah, that's a mobile game. Re take the game for a second there. Recoded's cool. I like recoded. That's not good. Oh, shoot. Are you resynced back to the Wii U? Or... Okay, good you are. So now you have to speedrun 3D for comparison. Nah, I'm good. Dan, we got a garage. Do we ever get unbanned? Uh, probably not. Yeah, I can't talk on... Uh any uh, Kingdom Hearts because I've never owned a PlayStation, therefore I've never played a proper Kingdom Hearts game. And I kind of have no interest to play in them. Is Cage 2 overrated? Or... Oh wait, shit, where is that comment? Is Cage 2 really good, or is the Cage series just vastly overrated? Little uh, column A, little column B. Uh, Fred Fredberger, um, John's never probably going to add in uh, better Twitch emotes or uh, Frank Cassie emotes, because we still have at least a couple open emote slots. Yeah, we have... Uh... We have the Twitch unlock or the bit unlock slots and some tier two and three slots left unlocked. I know I've had a bunch of people lately asking for me to do better Twitch implementation, so maybe we'll figure something out. Or at least FFZ. Yeah, hang on a second, let me check something here. Can John Cena see why kids love Sim and Toast Crunch? No, he can't, Mr. Simpson. Nobody can. <laughs> Laughing boy, I know you're not here. Why did you send me Seinfeld mixed with Doom? <laughs> I just want to know. Better uh, question, why not? Fair point. Just like the thing I have in reserve to send you. <laughs> All right, let's quickly read Donos and then quickly go to Art Block, and then we can play some Sonic Unleashed. Fox McCloud says, if you'd like to play a more approachable space game, I recommend Outer Wilds. You do own it because I bought it uh, for for collect last November. Also, I think Juker has played the game, so he might do a better job selling the game than me. So I saw the trailer for Outer Wilds uh, on, I think, the last Direct, and that did a better job of selling me on the game than kind of anyone else has at this point, so it's on my to-check-out list, basically. If you, the Another good uh, outer space game that, the little casual game I like playing from time to time is Elite Dangerous, where you can either be a bounty hunter, pirate, a uh, space miner, or doing uh, basically war play in space now that you had a good hour or so of fun with Kerbal Space Program what are your thoughts of the game now by the way uh, still not quite for me uh, a little too detailed for something I care about but uh, I can definitely see why people find it fun 
one of these days, I actually do want to play, uh, learn, uh, Cover Space Program. Alright, let's go to Art Block and then let's go play some Cyanic. Art Block starts here. With a really zoomed in picture. Oops, sorry. There we go. Busty Crustacean. Ever heard the <laughs> joke about a crusty bus station? Me neither. So here's a new Alt John. Uh, Crab John, Lord of the Crabs, decided to make her my chunkiest alt by far. Anyways. When I did first, uh, did my, this, my art program crashed and I lost all my fucking progress the first time. So this ended up being a rushed a bit. If she needs pants, I'll add pants to be appropriate. I mean, Rosa's gotten away with pants for long enough, I guess. Question. Thank you, Flowery. Does this Ultron control Mitch's crabs? What? No. The, uh, no, the Buru crab? She's okay. her own crab. I'm uh, next up. Is this the busty crab? <laughs> From Junko. Work in progress. Since March 10th is, uh, Mario Day, I drew Munyu and Pixie as Mario and Peach. We'll finish later with some additional stuff. And they finished it. Up here. Hi, why am I here? I got a super crown. Yoshi saying in the bathroom ding. Daisy with a heart shaped box. And a move faster pokey and some giant boobs saying, why did I open my mouth? They're surrounded by star bits. March 10th, now with TRG, Proton John related references all over. Very cute, Junko. Good use of the Rosa star on the hat, too. Nicely done. Thank you for the yes. art. Very cute. Yes, very cute. Next up, from Wolfboy. Ooh, look at this. Fancy. I was inspired by Mika to make my own Rosa John design, and so I present to you Lullaby Rosa, a Rosa for sleepy times. I thought of Rosalina's dress being a nightgown, and I made Luma Bagel as a plushie. I also experimented with the fuzz on the nightgown, slippers, and plush. I then added a sunset at night uh, in the background. Uh, despite not Rosa for being big in the picture, I hope it still turned out nice. It's very lovely, though, Wolf Boy. Thanks for giving her a nice, like, sleepy time outfit. Yeah, she's looks ready to go good. take a nap. So she's like me, because she always is ready for a nap. Not surprised. Thank you, Wolf Boy. Next up from Golden. Uh, the plush series continues with a Rosa John and Bagel Luma plushes. Odd, I thought I heard something about not being turned into a marketable plush and a... and a no come from it. Eh, probably nothing. Uh, when you mentioned Coraline for the Beef Root plush, I didn't make the possible connection until you pointed it out. So, other than being plushes, they could be from the other world seen in Coraline. The lore thickens for these plushes. Cool. Thank you, Golden. Look at that little chunky Bagel Luma. Uh, next up... <laughs> <laughs> this was all I could think of when I saw the first game of the night. Hashtag only kinda sorry. What is this from? I've seen this before. This looks so familiar. Between the Lions! Oh my god! Wow! That's a deep cut. Next up, from Theta. A little doodle I made since I saw a Kerbal win power trip. A Kerbal John waiting for his new ship to be made. <laughs> now it's gonna take so long. Why does it have 50 rockets pointing down? <laughs> Thank you, Theta. Speaking of rockets. Rock, egg, science, explosions, thumbs up, run away! Perfect. Thank you, Squirrel. At least you're following the rules. Because cool people don't look at the explosions. Mm -hmm. Cool guys don't look at explosions. What everyone else sees, what I see. A sane <laughs> rocket scientist would throw it. Both the human checks wanted me to identify planes. <laughs> You know what? It probably exploded the same way, so that's fair. Yeah. That's fair. <laughs> Thanks, Waluigi. Nice. Next up, from James. Go on, send me to space, not like I want to or anything. Baka. Here's a quick five-minute duel of a Kerbal John that came to mind earlier. Needs more explosions, though. Ah, yes, uh, Sundere, uh... Sundere. The explosions weren't big John. enough, John. Yep. Everything needs to be bigger. Thanks, James. Uh, 
Thanks up from Boggy B. It's a beefaroo. Hi, John Stream. I made a little sketch for the stream to make myself not depressed. A beefaroo hug concept emote that I might work on later. So for context, an animator I used to look up to and draw fan-made characters for her was outed as transphobic and as a shitty person in general, but that's all I'll say about it. I was doing my best not to break down, but after seeing the news about that, I couldn't really take it anymore, but I'm quickly feeling better now with the power of how friendly the Egg Pack is in John's streams. Thank you to everyone for being there for me and John and Cocoms for being such great streams. I hate to say it, but that does kind of happen. I'm sorry, Boggy. Sorry that you had to realize that someone you looked up to was shitty. Hopefully it'll be okay, though. Don't worry. There's there's people out there that aren't shitty that you can that you can look up to. There's oh still God. time. Thank you, Boggy. And yeah, also, trans rights, because fuck people like that. God, I fucking hate transphobes. Trans motherfucking rights, because they are human trans rights. Trans rights. Exactly. Thank you, Bobby. We'll do our best to keep you cheered up. Next up, Dora. Corbin wants you to find the difference between these pictures. I forgot she uses a gun in that movie. <laughs> Salute, uh, John and Chat. Nah, I got nothing. I. Oh, that. Oh no, that's. Oh, that's not from that one. That's from the the uh, college humor one. Okay. Good times. Good times. All different Doras that are all the same. Yeah, no, there's a, there's a real, like, there's a live-action Dora movie that came out, like, what, two years ago? Something Dora like and the Lost City of Gold. That, this is real. This is, that's Dora and that's Boots. She's, like, college age? Just under college age? I forget. No, that's a real thing. And that's the college humor video, so. Boots was Danny Trejo. Yes, I believe that is correct. Danny Trejo was in the movie, no matter what. He had a role, and I think it was Boots. Fucking love Danny Trejo. Slurp. A work in progress of Beefaroo enjoying being kidnapped by Tails Faraga. May finish soon. Oh, he's got a little pillow and a little juice box. That's adorable. Well done, Mel. Look at him. Look at him. Oh, there's more progress. The coloring may take a while. Give me a sec. Oh, there you go. <laughs> Tag. Kidnapped. Will torture with kindness, hugs, and apple juice. Aw. It's adorable. Uh, next up. BES regrets. In an act of desperation, the Bacterium Empire began outsourcing its ship designs to other dimensions. This will prove to be a very unwise decision. 2000 attack, no defense. Shoot Gee, I wonder why. <laughs> Shoot the core. For context, there's a series of Yu-Gi-Oh cards that are literally just Gradius bosses. Uh, and uses a card maker thing that was within my skill set. So, hey, presto. I'm sure it has no practical use whatsoever, but look at those flame jets. In the future, Bacterium Empire may want to stick to its own ship designs, even if they do have extremely obvious weak points. <laughs> well done, NPC. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, Konami mm -hmm. loves putting their IPs in Yu-Gi-Oh. <laughs> a ton of Gradius cards. <laughs> <laughs> Next oh. up from Angels, I learned something about Vroid a bit ago while studying up on designs. I found out that you could go beyond what the sliders show. And well, the model I made for you was the perfect one for me to test it out on. I could go even higher, but this is the highest I could go without making her just completely hidden behind her breasts. They have a strong jiggle physic too, and for those wondering, no, I didn't actually save this change. This is reminding me of two things. I think it was art that someone made, it, it might have been Rhyme. Of, uh, or it might have been Tiger, I think actually maybe they both did, of what a VR view would be like if I had a VR, uh, Rosa John model, and they're both just, I can't see anything. Uh, and two, it reminds me of Cake's, uh, Cassie VR model. Which I will show you that if you give me a minute while, while we switch games, because, uh, also, you cannot see anything with that model if you've never seen that. Thanks, Angel. Could be Baker. Her chest is bigger than my brain. I think it's bigger than most people's brains. I will go I'll go find the Cassie picture in a minute. Because the Cassie one makes me laugh. Hey guys, I made curry for dinner. What, what do you want to drink? I'll just take some water. Sure you don't want a microphone? Since when can you drink microphones? Well you said you wanted a character voiced by Tim Curry for you. 
would be screaming internally, but after all these years, he's probably run out of shrieks. Oh, God. Special thanks to Jacob Walters for posting that Waluigi Thornberry picture that led to this. Womp womp. The sad thing is I could see Chaga saying this exact. I can uh, picture this happening. Yep. Yep. <sighs> from Ace Kage. Behold, that lands and a mysterious waterfall with a head emerging from within. Cast forth the rainbow lure during the aurora to open the salmon gate. I'm so mad. Thanks, Kage. <laughs> Didn't think we'd get that much mileage of the Chaos Wars. And the last picture I got here as my alarm is just going off is Arg 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 Arg. The dialogue box. Key key key. The voice acting. Arg 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 Arg. Thank you, Kujo, for the little. Uh, ah! We got more to go, uh, but we'll check it next time. Because first off, let's go to the Wii menu. Secondly, let me go find that picture I was telling you about. Uh. It's probably been a while since I've actually posted a picture of that, though, so it may take a hot minute. So this is the day-night Sonic one, right? Yes, this is Sonic Unleashed. Actually, let me change the game, too, before I forget, so we can boot up the game. Sonic Unleashed for the Wii. I'm curious to see how different this is from the other one. Because I, I liked, for the most part, the 361. It had some decisions. <laughs> uh, but it was otherwise pretty fun. Okay, here we go. Actually, it wasn't that hard to find. It's the, the motorcycle one is great. As it's the initial D one. Hang on. Current controller settings are for Wii Remote and Nunchuck. Please check your controller connection. Controller settings can be changed in the option. Yeah, I'm using a Wii U, so I cannot use the GameCube controller. So this might cause some issues. All right, so before we jump into the game, uh, talking about 3D models with uh, a lot of bust, uh, Cake's Cassie character, usually, literally, is the, the most well-known one. Here is how uh, there is no clearance in front of them for when they're riding a motorcycle. And then there is them in the the initial D car, which is also great because they you cannot move that steering wheel. There is no steering wheel to use anymore. <laughs> Cat Cassie is what Rosa John wishes she could be, basically. All right, let's do it. Sonic Unleashed. See ya. Bust of the rising sun. Bust of the rising sun. Ironically as well, or, Cake has also fallen into the trap of could be bigger and has but also is an artist, so they can do that themselves. Tits, tits, tits. Those are some really big tits. <laughs> I think you need like a million more ships and you might be able to take on Sonic, Dr. Robotnik. This is a lot quieter than I expected. Hang on. No, there's no fire, fire going on. I mean, there was some fire in the background. Right, this is right before Roger took over for Sonic. How are you surprised at this point, Doc? 
Well, you think he, he probably thought he was going to use it right away. Instead of waiting. They sure don't make spaceships like they used to. They really don't. Well, then again, they're probably not used to Super Saiyan hedgehogs flying around, flying through them. Showing card. remorse, Eggman? If you played nice, I wouldn't have to break all your toys. Gotcha. Sonic, you're an idiot. Every main character in a video game is an idiot. I'm gonna kill Praxis! <laughs> Why do we have a beam cannon? In oh, I've waited a long time for this. Cause it's special. Wait, I thought there were laws against beam cannons being in space. Nope, Eggman just hates the planet. Fuck this planet in particular. like it hurts. Beefy arms! Could be bigger. They will be in a minute. Blow up the planet, everyone dies! Now I just need to harness its power. Eggman Land will finally come to be! Why does he always want to make an amusement park? Really? Gone and done it this time, Eggman. Ah, Sonic, that's a good look for you. So long, friend. It's a good thing we've apparently proved that hedgehogs can survive falling from space to Earth. Like, well, this, this is what, the is third like... time that's happened now? Second? Well, this isn't a hedgehog. This is a were-hedgehog. Yeah, they're tougher. Oh, wow, it actually was third. Well, shit. Dinar, were-hog. Yeah, so the game starts with Eggman just blowing up the planet. Kind of hardcore. Unleashed indeed. Sonic unleashed. And the governments didn't try and stop him? Well, they figured Sonic was going to do their job. Bubba, to be fair, what the hell is your answer to a giant laser ripping the Earth a new one? <laughs> Uh, a bigger laser? <laughs> Pointed towards space. On short notice. You're saying... I'm pretty sure at least one government might have a secret beam cannon in the... hiding in this world. 
Government? No. Mad scientist? Sure, I'll give you. But the government? They gotta do something for that. Oh god. 103 sun medals, 71 moon medals. I'm having a mild flashback right now. But only two lives! I thought you started with five. Careful, that first step is a doozy. Metals do not matter in the Wii version. Nice. Sonic, you just learned from Wily Coyote, you never look down, man. What the heck is going on? I found a dog. Huh? <laughs> hey, are you okay? Oh, yeah, just shake the dog. I can't get another bite. Hey, pull yourself together. Oh. Huh? Huh? Oh. Uh, 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 don't eat me. I taste bad. You okay? Nothing broken? Oh, I'm just fine. Thanks for asking, Mr. Monster Guy. Mr. Monster Guy? Looks like things have gotten pretty ugly. Yeah, look at those teeth and those claws. What's your name, anyway? I'm Sonic. Sonic the Hedgehog. And you are? Hmm. Uh, huh? What is my name? Ah, I don't know! I can't remember! What? You forgot who you are? I forgot how over-animated over all the characters were in this one. The sky. And everything just going all white. And then nothing. I can't remember a thing past that. Uh-oh. Did I fall on him? Oh, yes, man. you did. What am I going to do? What can I do? Where do I go from here? What'll I... Uh, I'm hungry. Hey, don't worry. I'll help you get your memory back. Really? Do you mean it? Absolutely. I'm sure we'll find somebody who knows you if we look around. Oh, thank you. You're the best, Mr. Monster Guy. I mean, Sonic the Hedgehog. <laughs> I don't know. I wouldn't mind being called Mr. Monster Guy if I was Sonic. Man, but you know your actual name, though. There we go. I'm cured. Huh? What? That was amazing. My name is Don Pacino. Huh? You're blue and spiky. You're all different, Sonic. Sometimes you're scary and sometimes you're spiky. How cool is that? All right, then. Let's go. This is going to be fun. Adventure, here we come. Let's try to remember actions as we search the town. Oh, there's no open world in this one, is there? Why did it change your shoes? Yeah. Ah, uh, for Oh, grip. I fucking love this song. Hang on. I got to enjoy this. Button to jump. Oh, hold on. Is that Chaz Prince voice actor? I've been trying to place the voice actor for Chip. It's been bugging me. Um, yeah, I, I need to know. Yeah, the soundtrack for this game I remember liking a lot. Tony even Slayer. even like the promo video theme they did was like bowling for soup. It was really good. It is him! It, that's Chaz from Yu-Gi-Oh! GX? Yes! That's hilarious. You're about to get chipped! Go! I knew it! While cornering, you can drift. Ah, God bless four kids. Sometimes they're becoming great. 
in the stupidest way possible. Alright, the game's getting a little loud now. I should bump it back down. Back down to normal levels. Hold on. Before you chaz me, I reveal my face down cards. But how? Simple. I just call out their names dramatically and they appear. Haven't you played this game before? It's a pretty common occurrence. Go! If you're jumping and see a lock-on cursor on an enemy, you can do a homing attack. Shake the Wii remote to- Oh, it shakes! Oh, piss. Of course it's well, shake. If you chain together homing attacks, you can- Oh, no. no it's my own fault. I can- you can use a GameCube controller. You can use actual normal controllers, but... I just- the fastest one I had was, uh, Wiimote Nunchuck. Yeah. It takes some doing, but wow, what a show! I like to call it an action chain. You'll probably need to do action chains in the future, so don't forget about them, okay? I've officially lost the ability to hear Chip without merely picturing Chaz. Thanks, Dan. You're welcome. Yeah, classic controller works too, but I, uh... I don't know. I, mine is definitely not charged. It's definitely not charged. This reminds me of the mu the loading sound. Reminds me of like connecting to your 3DS to a hotspot. Mm. If you can see the oh, shitty grin on my face right now. Try and get them, Sonic. <laughs> no. Did you see how grabbing rings filled up the boost gauge and once it's full, shake the Wii remote to do a sonic boost. Wait, so lock on and boost are the same? Oh god. During a sonic yeah. boost, you'll send enemies and obstacles. Ew. You zip right through them. No problem. This this is weird by comparison. Boosts are also segmented in this game? Oh, I like just using boosts whenever I wanted. Uh, I don't like this. Is it gonna be B? Or is it another waggle? It's Z this time, okay. You can slip through some pretty narrow spots. Chip, you sure know a lot about me despite not knowing I was an actual hedgehog earlier. No problem. That's because you were a were hedgehog. Completely different from a normal hedgehog. Huh. Apparently Chip's voice actor was also Rex Raptor in like the later season of Yu-Gi-Oh. Yeah, I know that voice changed after a while. Here we go. Hold down the B button and tap left or right on the control stick to do a quick step. With a quick step, you should be able to dodge even the speediest enemy attacks. Sweet. I'm scared to get to the werehog mode in this one because I know it's motion controls. I know that it is. And that bums me out. Because I... <laughs> Continue playing? I've never had a game just ask me, yeah, are you done with us yet? <laughs> are you, do, do you want to leave? I hear you complaining. Do you want to fucking leave? Here's your chance. I've been listening. I've been listening. I know we got tutorials for days. You want to go home? Want to go cry to mama? <laughs> <sighs> All right, actual stage, actual stage. Now to have forgotten literally everything I just learned. The more rings you get, the faster you'll go, Sonic. Man, I just died on me for like a minute there. Don't worry, we were just debating on whether we should continue or not. Do you what? Making Chaz jokes? No. Uh, no. The game literally asked if I was done playing it. Wait, what? Yeah! <laughs> you you missed some things. I'm going for 60 seconds, what the fuck? You literally missed it, it's fucking hilarious that you did. God damn it. <laughs> Alright, hang on, let me see the clip. Landing in action chain is another great way to fill the boost gauge in a hurry. So get out there, get chased. 
Wow. That's a lot of boost change you can have. Can it get bigger? Uh, I don't think so, actually. You got an item. Wow, you really just can't boost whenever you want. That really sucks. All right, I gotta jump for that. Ah, oh, shit. Oh my god. That's yeah, so I kept shaking the Wii remote. I didn't get a boost. S ranks in the Wii and PS2 versions are bullshit as they're primarily time based. Yeah, I know. I know if your, uh, your boost meter goes down if you lose rings. Yeah, that's that's pretty straightforward. I was expecting to lose the whole boost meter. You can boost anytime you have a charge for it. No idea what happened. It is just shake the Wii mote, right? Because I did that, and instead I you saw like I was doing that weird grab the rings motion. I was doing the ring lock on instead. figure that was all about the hair and those arms and and look at the chaos emeralds so is this what you usually look like yeah this is the real me pretty cool huh huh where'd you he go? found food Looks good, don't it? Mm -hmm. That there chocolate chip cream sundae oh, hey, Yugi. cream is the pride of the city. <laughs> the whole world can come tumbling down, but they'll still line up for a taste. Dan Green, mm -hmm. real name, no mm -hmm. gimmicks. Hey! What about your memories? Uh, chocolate chip sundae supreme <laughs> you said it uh, enjoy yeah, it yeah. kiddo satisfaction yeah. guarantee uh, if you don't love it you get your money back hey oh i love it food now pot of green one later <laughs> chip whatever stuff is great you say so don't have any oh, idea what the pot of green does but we no can get a pot does. of green tomorrow I gotta call you something, don't I? What do you think? Yeah, Chip. Chip. I love it. Yum. Now, what do you say we start asking around and see if anybody here knows you? Okay. It's so weird not seeing this be an open world zone. Uh. Flower Street. You. Oh, hello. Say, did you feel the tremor? Good thing my house is okay. Since the earthquake, the whole town is turned upside down. Hmm, do I know anything about you? Only that I've never seen you before. Sorry, all I know is that I don't know you. Can't help, but uh, I know the priest can. He knows everything. I mean, he's been preoccupied lately. Something's on his mind. Maybe you can help him out, too. Okay, so it's still sort of open world. Those models look like something out of, like, a... Uh... One like, of those, like my sims kids. i feel like i'm playing yeah. my sims yeah that's what i was thinking or like thrillville you know what was that uh six flags game you were playing i think with? it was just called like six flags like fun park or something like that yeah they'll good don't know why but what, what it does say? remind me. I'm just saying these characters, are, for some reason, I don't know why, but reminds me of the Six Flags game that you am, and Jewel play. Am I crazy, or is the font moving in like a wave pattern? Or is it like, it's not straight. It's not lined up. I see it too. Yeah, it looks you like can, it. You can really see it on the word filled. And with. And shrine. Yeah. Is that just the way he's talking? I... I would need to see another NPC. 
Yeah. In case you're wondering, the E-Rank music is in this version. Okay, good. But only if you fail a stage that forces you to collect rings under a time limit. Oh, that's a... Oh, that's going to really throw me off reading that now. Is it just him? Is it just to show that he's old? Sure, which way? Way too busy for that! The shrine is on the edge of town. It's not static, because it's on my TV. Uh, I can see that on my TV. Not just the capture. Well, let's talk to another NPC. Nope, we're gonna go play a stage. Well, I was just to see if oh, no, the even, even even Chips Text is doing it. Look at something. Why? Yeah, what the fuck? Yeah, it's not moving, but the text itself is in like a wave pattern. Like some letters are higher and some are lower. That's weird. I got a sun tablet. Hooray. Oh. This place is kind of spooky, huh, Sonic? If it was just me, I'd be too scared to go in. It's like the kerning is messed up on it. I guess no, kerning's the spacing, so I don't think that's really the issue here. Whoa, this room's not like the others, huh? It's all mysterious. I actually didn't notice the font until you said something, and now it's unnerving me to yeah, know it. Yeah, now you can't unsee it, huh? That door's glowing, Sonic. Maybe that means it'll open now. So I guess this is how we play the sun stage. I, I guess. I'm guessing. And now I activate my spell card, Ojamandala. Here we go. Good shit. Here Let's go. We... go. One door's red and the other's blue. No. Only I get to make that joke. <laughs> Only I make dance. Well, I'm not the one who did it. Chad did. Well, we can't have two doors, one being red, the other is blue. Otherwise, we'd be playing the Sonic Party Cruise. <laughs> it's all about the rings you see when you play the Sonic Party Cruise. I hate you all so much. Damn it. One Ojama's red and the other's blue. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but Sonic's shuffle doesn't sound as good, Cat, as the Sonic Party Cruise. Oops, that was a waste. Yeah, it's a. Uh, uh oh. It's really finicky about the boost. Like, it's taking three shakes to get one turbo boost. And I can't seem to. Yeah, they're really picky about on this screen, too. Okay, so which one do you think is better, the 360 or this? Well, I'm gonna assume it's because I'm using the motion controls. Because there are. Oh, sure, that works too, I guess. Alright. What? Okay, alright, game. Now we're just doing this. Ah! 
It's because this Waggle does three different things. And they overlap with each other at times. Uh, blame Nintendo. Yeah, don't worry, guys. We know, uh, we know John can play the game. Keep controller is just that. I can't. I'm using a Wii U. Oh, right. That, too. Because the Wii U was, like, the most, was the quickest one to access, right? I don't even have a regular Wii set up here. Oh. Why would I? Because the Wii U plays Wii games. You know what? That's fair. I wonder if it's possible if you had, like, the Smash... Oh. Uh, is a Smash adapter? Does it actually backwards compatible with the Wiimote? I, I don't know. Not without homebrew. No. That's what I thought. Oh, without homebrew. I've homebrewed my uh, Wii U console. So I was trying to figure out why can I use mine to play a game? Uh, a GameCube on the Wii version, and then, oh yeah, I've homebrewed my console. Yes, gonna miss S. Rip. Yeah, it's it's all just because I have to do waggle instead of just pressing a button. That's all that is. In, re in relation to the Sonic Party Cruise joke from earlier, has TRG ever com commented on the idea of a Sonic Shuffle LP for the channel? I think enough of us have played the game to know that it's bad to know it might not be worth it. We might do it for shits and giggles in the future, but uh, we would be suffering in the process. Uh, play a tiny bit longer. Classic Control not available at the moment? Uh, that's a good question. Here's the problem. If I do that, though, I have to, uh, I have to relearn the controls. All right, is this the one I you want me to guys? You want you guys want me to fuck up? Here we yes, chat saying. No, not that fast, Sonic. You're walking. Sonic the Jog Hog. <laughs> the Hedge Jog. No, none of that. Jog Champ. Oh, these things. I forgot about these damn things. Chaos Wars. De uh, voice actors decided to start playing music. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this was this speed. was one of my favorite things about this game. Just if you fail, enjoy. So speaking of music, uh, I was watching Ty earlier, uh, and I had and he was playing Fractured Furry Tales, the Bubsy Jaguar game. Yeah. And he was also going over, like, how bad Jaguar emulation was, and he wanted to play a certain song from Club Drive. Oh, yeah, uh, that's that's what the arcade pit theme is, is the glitched yep. version. Yep! 
And I had no idea until Ty played that. And it just blew my mind that, <laughs> that more people know that song through Arcade Pit than like the actual source. Well, you have to think with the E rank music, how much effort had to go in for the musicians to play that bad. That. Isn't that the Streisand effect? Probably. Wait, no, is that the- I thought that was the Weird Al effect. No, wait, no, that's when you know the parody more than the song. Yeah, I think that's Streisand then. Sweet! We did it! Obtained a tablet fragment adorned with a red jewel. A new mission has been added. Head to the sun door of the uh, Apatos Gaia Gate. All right, I'm starting to get a little tired, so I'm gonna. And you're gonna you're gonna, gonna leave gonna... before Werehog happens. Oh, God damn it! I probably should at least watch this. Huh? No luck finding anyone who knows me. Don't worry about it. Maybe your memory will come back on its own. Remember anything yet? Mm, nope. Oh well. Gave up immediately. Oh. Sonic? And Dark Jack. Whoa. Mr. Monster Guy is back. Oh. So when the sun goes down, I turn into this? Are you okay, Sonic? I'm fine. I'm fine. Be careful who sees me like this. Sonic, Sonic, look. What is it? It's Amy. Oh, it's hopeless. <laughs> the whole planet is split apart. We're doomed. Oh. Mister? Oh. Hey, mister! Hey, don't cry! Uh, ice cream! How about some more of this super tasty stuff? What good is ice cream at a time like this? Mm. <laughs> ice cream, no! Sonic, your arm just stretched! Oh, joy. Yep. The werehog is Mr. Fantastic. But it could be useful. <laughs> oh, I'm so sad. <laughs> eh. <laughs> Welcome to Night Town. Hey, get this, the ice cream man has been acting really weird. Whoa, speaking of weird, what the heck happened to you? What did you do to yourself? I went to a convention. We don't talk about it. Uh, pa I met Pon Pon. <laughs> Oh? I don't think Pon Pon makes, uh, makes furries. Or werewolves. Or furry werewolves. You're saying Pon Pon's magic couldn't accomplish that? Oh, it could! I'm just saying she normally wouldn't do that. <laughs> Is that a challenge? I don't know. We don't want to challenge Pon Pon. We all remember the last time... We challenge Pom Pom and Pom Pom won. Ooh, tails. Of course, if ghosts have been not been verified, but you be careful, son. All right, I need to go find Eric. I know you anywhere. What do I mean? Well, I had some stranger ask me a favor, and since he was a yellow fox, I figured you knew each other. Told me if I saw a blue hedgehog, I gotta give him this. Moon tablet. What if I collaborate with Pompon? If you jumped to collaborate with Pompon, then yes, many things would happen. I also fear. I fear. I, I fear for the world's say, sanity if Pompon and Jumni worked together. 
All right, that's overkill to turn me back to normal just to walk in this room. That's overkill. Yeah. I get why they're doing it, because then they don't have to program okay. both collision boxes and all that. You're back to nice guy Sonic again. This light's so warm. It kind of feels like the afternoon sun. Do you think your transforming's got something to do with the sun, Sonic? I don't know. I don't know. I turn into a werewolf at night, so... Probably. Wait. Sorry, werehog. Mean... Werehog, I mean. That door's glowing, Sonic. Oh, we're going through the blue door this time. Yep. Right into it. Time to turn we into need... werehog. I wonder what party favors we'll get this time. You're looking all scary again. Don't you get tired of switching all the time? No. You really don't. Oh, I can attack in yeah. here. <laughs> Aha, Sonic's going here. Game, ah. don't you know how much money it takes to do that transformation every single time? Hey, look. Every time I move my arm, it costs the Cartoon Network 32 bucks. Get the hang of <laughs> jumping in werehog form. If you press the A button to jump... Ooh. Interesting. Oh, he moves so weird in this version. Was he always this clunky? Move the control stick rapidly in the same direction. Tw uh, someone in chat says uh, it's only a third as long compared to the 360 version. Well, that's good because that's the biggest complaint I have about the Not Werehog stages in 360 dash. version is it's You'll just so fucking long. Werehog's Wii Dash has ice physics, which were not in the 360 version. Ah. Uh. Orbs! Orb. Orb. Acquisition. You need to fall down a pit as Were Sonic. Okay. That sounds like the pit. Oh, I know why. I know why you want that. If a ledge looks climbable, try stretching out your arms and grabbing it. Wait, what? Did it actually? Did I miss the button they said to do that? It wasn't. It was a B. Uh... Is it? Wiggle the Wiimote? Closer. Be closer. Oh, right, I can double jump. Duh. Oh, yeah, there we go. Wow. Sp oh, that's a spaced out there. Sorry, guys. You should be able to reach that hard. I would have if you kept stopped pausing me so much so I could actually you control myself. Oh, this is oh. time limit. Oh, this is... Oh, that's motion... Oh, wow, that's gross. Alright, bring in the child band again. Bring the bring the preschoolers. You have to appreciate how much the band actually had to practice to probably play that band. I know. Uh, someone said it was the Tokyo Philharmonic or Orchestra that did the soundtrack. That must hurt to do professionally that bad. If a ledge looks Yeah. Oh, it's Definitely. hold. It's not tap. It's hold to do that. Okay. Oh. You should be able to reach Oh my god. Oh. God. Ew. Why? You can climb up. How why did they think this was a good idea? Because it's a Wii, therefore everything has to be motion control. Oh, God. Well, Nintendo, I think, does require 
the gimmicks. Yeah, of, Nint Nintendo uh, usually the first couple years of a system is like you need to put like touchscreen in, you need to put something we ask you to put in. in. the gimmick, yay. <sighs> well, this is... When is uh, Sonic's 25th birthday? It's beat em up time. Uh, 2026? No, wait, no, 25th? 25th? Already happened. That was, yeah, it was five years ago. Oh, okay, 35th then. 20, 2026. Shake the Wii remote, right punch. Shake the nunchuck, left punch. Ew. Alternate the Wii remote yeah, and nunchuck the... shakes to yield a three-hit combo. Using triple attacks to defeat all enemies in the area. Give me that sweet jazz, though. Yeah! This year, this year is the 30th. Well, we might see, like, a... Could see a Sonic Unleash. This two unleashes, right? Yeah, essentially. So probably put two, both of them in a, like make a Sonic. On a normal control, arm thing. attacks are done with the shoulder buttons. That also sounds bad. Ew. No, you know what we're gonna see for the 30th anniversary? Sonic the Dark Brotherhood 2. I actually don't know much about. Haven't played many Sonic games, so. It's okay. No, I got the reaction I wanted out of the chat. Oh my god. Okay, I'm gonna guess it's a bad game. Yup. Ty played it a couple months back. You can grab that it, uh... Once you've grabbed it, up. was shit. What game? Sonic and the Dark Brotherhood. Oh, that one, yeah. Yeah. Jesus, look at the speed he throws the box! I wonder if you can fall off the edge. Dan, I'm giving it to you verbally. Fuck you. <laughs> Thank you. I can't. There's an invisible wall. They thought of it. <laughs> no, you know, you know, I got heat on that one. When even my girlfriend says, "Hun, I love you," but fuck you on that one. <laughs> Maybe don't piss <laughs> off your girlfriend. Just saying. Well, I got... True, but you got to admit, there's a level of heat that comes with that one. That's pretty impressive to reach. Is it? <laughs> Yes. <laughs> I wouldn't try and reach. That was matter of fact, John. Is it? Yes. Is it? I'm not going any louder. It's three thirty in the fucking remote. morning. Chuck, <laughs> at the same time. I also we'll was gonna go to bed. <laughs> oh no! I had to use both at the same time for the super duper special move. This is gonna go great. Sonic fan base is not that hard to piss. Yeah, that's true. It is not hard to piss you guys off. <laughs> I can I can talk from personal I Oh. Oh <laughs> that was quick. I thought you failed. I thought my controller died. <laughs> well, we've learned your batteries take forever to die if other M is any example to go by. Alright, I'm I'm afraid continue playing is definitely no this time. <laughs> I'm gonna I'm gonna head off to bed. It's 3:30 in the morning. All right. Yeah, later. later, guys. I definitely need it. Later, this. Dan. Yep. Later, guys. Feel better, bud. Thanks, man. Later, guys. Later, chat. All right. Sonic. Where's the collar? Uh, I want to check something. What percentage we got? I want to check how many medals we got. Yeah, five sun medals, ten moon medals. Still just two lives. Good times. All right. You mean you didn't lose a medal, uh, life uh, for failing those was two a, missions? No, apparently just don't, those don't matter. Didn't fall in a pit yet. I think I like the 360 version better, but I also feel like my opinion would be definitely colored by the fact that I chose to use the Wiimote nunchuck versus an actual controller. I think I just like the open world aspect a little bit more, even though it's just like Sonic Adventure and a hot mess, in a way. Uh, I don't know. I liked Unleash to a point. If the, if the Werehog stages are shorter in this version, that's the change that the 360 version needed. Because Jesus Christ, getting the chili dog challenges 
in some of those stages sucks. I wonder if we had the 360 version with the requirements of the Wii version, would that be negate all your complaints? Not necessarily, but it would negate some, I feel. They're not overall. The length is shorter, but there are more of them. Oh yeah, I don't mind there being Werehog stages. I liked them in the 360 version. I just hated how fucking long it took to do them. Because, like... What's the one with the clock tower? I remember taking, like, the Chili Dog Challenge is like 30 minutes. And then there's obviously the final fucking stage, which is a ridiculous one because you have to do both uh, day and night stages in one. That one takes forever. Yeah, Werehog stages are minimum 20 minutes in the 360 version. They take too long. If they're spaced out, I don't mind as much. Ew. They're technically shorter, but they're really... They're split into three or four plus levels. Uh, yeah, Eggman Land was... Ugh. It was fun to play in the actual game, but if you're doing the challenges... Ugh. All right, let's wrap up for the night. Uh, let's start by doing... Our raffle to see who's picking the game for the next... Power Trip. So one last raffle for the night. Uh Oh no. Check. 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 I can check. hear you. Check to check. Okay. Okay. That was great. <laughs> Computer just crashed. Basically XSplit crashed. Windows changed all my sound settings. So for some reason, Bubba was coming through on my monitor instead of my headset. I have no idea what the fuck happened, basically. Let's try this again. Please, tech gods, let us stream for a little bit longer. All right, we're back. Okay, good, we got it. All right, keyword is exclamation crash. This is to pick who picks the starting game for next month's power trip. Inchon won last month and picked Cliffhanger for the Super Nintendo. Let's see who gets it tonight. Good news for those of you that are still here. Some people probably left when the when the stream crashed. Which means, uh... Better odds? Better odds, yeah. I'm gonna win. Oh, you know what the shitty thing is, I realized? Uh, that means the VOD recording is also fucked. Which means I have to do a lot of messing around now. Ugh. Yes, Popsy is in the call. Yeah, I don't know why. I don't know why I'm here. Because you felt me and John were lonely. One minute. I think he figured... I assumed he figured we were going to be offline a bit longer than we were. Yeah, that's probably it. Like I said, every time we talk about Pon Pon, our uh, limits. Heck please, issues are abound. Please stop encouraging my succubus self from breaking my job. Hi, why am I here? Ugh. <laughs> well, At least the, you have not bee, known. Meanwhile. At least, Popsky, you're not the person known for uh, drinking syrup directly from the bottle. Alright, 
rolling it now. Winner is Casual Philip. Congrats. Yo, Philip. Here's your chance. What do you got? What starts next month's Power Trip stream? about it. Yes, they're thinking. They're thinking. Well, they have to pick a good one because it'll be opening it up. Oh, uh, they uh, picked a good one. They picked nice. a really good one. Lethal League Blaze. Fuck yeah. yeah. Some nice that funky fresh beats. Game. Hell yeah. I'm gonna assume you mean the Steam version. I think I also have it on Switch, but more people can probably play it if we do the Steam one. Awesome. Let me let me get that pinned quickly. You got to add the person too. Uh who was it was I got it done already, buddy. I'm already on it. Okay. This is why I usually do this pin. All right. All right. Leave the League Blaze is going to start the next Power Trip next month. For those who haven't played it, uh, imagine Pong and Smash Brothers had a baby. <laughs> and it was very funky. It is, it is a very intense game. It's real fun. We've streamed it a bunch. Yes, and there is... I believe there's online. And imagine it being stylized like Jet Set Radio Future. It's a baseball fighting game. Yeah. Pong... It's Pong is a fighting game. That might actually be a better comparison. Yeah. Might be. It's real fun. Good choice, Philip. All right. Uh, let me do a quick art block reshuffle. And that's good. Let's quickly check. Uh, eggs. Did you send me eggs? Yes. You did. Sweet, because my list got re reset because of that crash. Pickletron, thank you for the gift subs. Uh, that crazy crabs for three. The Green Thunder, 200 for two. And Banjo, dude, 186 for 16. I'm also going to sneak in and read Bleach Bummer's donation, which says, Seeing Sonic Unleashed again reminds me I need to fix my PS2 memory card. As if you remember, it somehow keeps erasing my file of Sonic Unleashed. Still sad I almost S-ranked the entire game. Any advice for fixing the PS2 memory card, if any? Uh, I'm going to assume you're talking first party, because third party is, is crapshoot at this point. Assuming first party, I don't know. Normally, they're supposed to be pretty solid. The only thing I can think of is maybe a bad connector, but they shouldn't be deleting saves. If it's just Sonic Unleashed, that's also really weird. But if it's multiple games, that sounds like something, something in the memory card is corrupted. You might just be better off getting a new memory card. All right. Eggs. Unless you have like a little sibling that's deleting it just for shits and giggles. Uh, still with pour one out for Jeb. 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 Oops. I'm now remembering the Jeff. Shit. Just play Jeopardy. your fucking Jeff, music. Jeff. 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 Make them pay for their crimes! Go, Jebediah! Make them pay for their sins! Well, at least we have to enjoy this part. Well, he's dead. Oh! That thing lasted a minute. A moment of silence for Jeb. Jeb will be missed, despite the fact that he is still alive. Gokai with, as a voice actor, this game made me do things. I assume this is related to Chaos Wars. What did you do, Nicole? What are you talking about? Had some of the best voice acting all day. Nope, can't say that with a straight face. You probably don't understand the logic. It's gonna be a bottle of syrup. Yep. 
I knew it was gonna be a bottle of syrup. Game fan with Super John 64. Me, Mario. Hi, why am I here? Yep, saw that coming. And I'll sneak this last one in because there's one last egg. A certain green <laughs> fee or green friend. Oh, guys, look, it's one of my greatest achievements. Wow. Why are you here? That is a good question. Achieved you. We're good. We're good. We're good. We're good. We're gonna have to do some editing to get this together, but we're otherwise good. Uh, It'll be all right. Art. We're gonna do art. Don't worry. Art block is art block still good. We got two rows. Uh, we got yodel. We got yodel sign. Everything will be okay. Bleach bummer. Queen Chi yodels and says, I know it's not my birthday, it's in August, lol lol lol, but I got a raise! A plus a 600 plus referral fee plus getting paid at the end of the week. Hell yeah, holy shit. Nice, congrats, Queen Chi. Enjoy the money, and I guess I will too now. Thank you. Oh, and Anth, happy birthday to you, Anth. I just saw that. It's my birthday. It's the first time someone I look up to has streamed on my birthday. Oh, thank you. And happy birthday to you, Anth. Enjoy. Let's go to Art Block. Let's do it. Art Block. <laughs> All right. Some of this might need some context. Some of this might need context. Context is overrated. And of course, yeah. if I'm stating the phrase, some of this might need context, it's related to Rosa. You mean, just like, a, could be bigger context? Just, it's just a Raz. Mr. Raz. Good angle. Again, Jumni is poking fun at the fact that I did the Rosa John cosplay test, or some part of the test, uh, yesterday. And as a result, I could not see my phone because of my chest, so I had to learn how to hold my phone differently, and Rosa already knew how to do that. Thank you, Jumni, for showing that she actually is wearing at least shorts underneath her hoodie. <laughs> Scroll down. Oh, you son of a... <laughs> Man, she's got huge... You, because you knew I got good at the Badonkaroos one, so now you're just fucking with me now. <laughs> Have a donka bonkaro gonga longa long... God damn it, I can't do it. <laughs> so close. <laughs> Have a donka bonkaro gonga... Donkaro gal... Gongala gongas. I can't do it. Tits. There Tits. was an attempt. Thermo thermodynamic. Thermodynamics is a word, though. Habadonka bonga longa gongs is not a fucking word. Tits, so we're playing uh, Totals in Time now? Yeah, exactly. That's the abbreviation for Totals in Time, is tit. I think you got it at the time. Yeah, because I got mad. You know what the trick is? If I get mad, I can do things I normally can't. Ugh. Thanks, Jumny, for the for the nice tits. All right, so the rest of the context is in relation to the fact that Rosa finally got pants last week, but apparently someone pressed the mouth button, and for once it wasn't me. Ha, serves Art Brewer right. These pants lasted one week. I have a good feeling about the longevity of these monkey paw leggings. Rip and tear. So, on Cupo's leggings post, someone said that the leggings won't last the week. So, have a comic on what happens when an idiot, aka me, decides to disapprove that notion to the letter. It lasted a week and a minute. A whole week and one minute. Rosa enjoyed having pants for once, and then she got bigger. Poor girl. Speaking of getting bigger. <sighs> Tiger and Jumni are flying away as Rosa's thighs have become too powerful and utterly exploded the pants that she was wearing earlier. 
The, pa the pants arc concludes. They only lasted one week and one minute thanks to these gremlins. The pants literally exploded right off of due to the massive growth. Could be bigger. And just to show the context, there's, oh, there, yeah, there's three parts. This was part one, where Popsky showed off these, these pants leggings, and uh, Rosa finally got to wear pants. She, she knew what it was like to wear pants for once. And then, for the 14th anniversary of content, she got bigger, including in the thighs and the ass and the gut and the tits and bigger, general. And This is why I'm here. Got Jum it. Yeah, I know. And Jumni and Tiger were both like, what if bigger? And thus, bigger. As she sighs, knowing her fate, and that she's stuck like this for the next week. Thank you, Kyupo. Rosa may kill the three of you, but thank you. And yes, Tiger Don't is having. I'm pretty sure we have some Phoenix down somewhere. Oh, you're approaching me? TRG sucks? And so does Rosa John? Instead of running away, you're coming right to me? I can't punt the shit out of you without getting closer. Well, someone beat me to the JoJo post, but this ain't gonna stop me from posting this. So here's a little fun fact for tonight. Before we had the better handled IDW adaptations of the Sonic comics, uh, or worse, I don't know, I haven't read the comics. The comic book adaptations were handled by a man by the name of Ken Penders. Yes, chat, that Ken Penders, for those of you unfamiliar. Who had an interesting vision for the comics. He would integrate and propose... I feel like we talk about fucking Ken Penders every time I play a Sonic game. Uh, he would integrate and propose by the name... Uh, out of this world ideas that could never or did get into the comics, like Sonic fighting an ancient evil order of an echidna race, getting laid with other female characters not named Amy Rose. Yes, this is real, and had, keyword being had, an idea where an echidna would lose. You know what, let's not. There's a tweet about it, but I'd rather not give the, given the week I had. He would have a legal battle over the Sonic characters with Sega and lose, and though it was stupid, the legal kerfuffle impacted a certain RPG video game being developed by Bioware at the time, a sequel to the semi-classic known as Sonic Chronicles, The Dark Brotherhood. So yeah, that's why there's no Sonic uh, Chronicles 2. And uh, that's why the comics were in a weird spot for a long time. So yeah, Ken Penders is is not liked by a lot of people, and based on the amount of people saying "fucking Penders" over and over. Apparently, he is scum of the earth. Thank you, Tauros. Next up, from Horizon Strider. Welcome back to Honing with Horizon, where today we will be making beefaroo meatloaf glazed with a ketchup-based sauce. Now, if you think I'll be an idiot and try to homemade ketchup every, even though you can buy the store stuff for cents on the gallon, have it be arguably better than what you would, then you would be correct. So let's render some tomatoes. Horizon, you you said would Rosa ignore you because of the pants splitting? I, I think A, she's gonna be more distracted with the other three, and B, she's probably gonna kill you for this anyways. <laughs> yeah. If what's the constant with all your Johns? Bigger? Uh, you. Yeah. What? What it's do you mean by the constant? Like, what's the con? You know how Tim's always a dude. Yeah, Tim is Tim uh, is always Tim. Chagas always seems to be the evil alt version. Like, I'm not, sh I'm not sure can... where you're going with this. Is you're trying to figure out if there's a constant for like all the all the alts protecting Beefaroo? Or I was thinking uh, salty slash anger, because you're saying, oh, she's gonna find you and beat the crap out of you. She'll probably that beat the crap like... out of them. Yeah, Rosa will beat the crap out of you for touching Beefaroo. Horizons Horizon Strider says, honestly, I didn't expect my question to work the second time around. So shame on Eileen and Dan. I. As soon as I heard Aelita read out that question, I started laughing because I knew exactly what it was for. <laughs> and the fact that they both went for it. Amazing. I would have went for it because I'm on Team Munchers. You're Team Munchers? Yes, I thought that was obvious by now. From Maniacal, <laughs> attempting that whole art thing again, have an interpretation of the Beef Boy. Very beef. Very. Is that is gonna be is that drool maniacal or is that blood? I assume it's drool. Or you might have a bloody tongue. That's also possible. Thanks, maniacal. It's drool. Okay. Cole, you think that's going to bother me? People wanting to bonk me to oblivion? 
Yeah. I've had worse. I don't have a clever joke for this one. It works. Don't worry, someone else did. You brought it up, so I present to you Chip Princeton. From Ice Finch. I'm just gonna skip ahead because I meant to also click on this one from Leaf. I summon ice cream in attack mode! It's a fucking Neapolitan <laughs> ice cream sandwich. That's perfect. Perfect. Well done. Well done. Are you Jumping. getting me hungry for ice cream sandwiches? I would really like an ice cream sandwich right now. I have one upstairs, a box. Two boxes, actually. Power Trip Rosa John, my tree. Continuing my lesser known alt series is Power Trip Rosa John. <laughs> While technically just Rosa John in an alternate outfit, the wiki treats her as a separate alt. I figured since tonight is Power Trip, she was the perfect fit. Maybe if I, maybe it'll bring me good luck for tonight, too. All right, I'm gonna start taking suggestions for others on what alts to draw. My only requirement is that they're lesser known, so no base, Rosa, Pon Pon, etc. If you have a suggestion, leave a comment and I'll take a look. Yeah. See. Electron Jen. Uh, Jen's getting drawn a bit more. I'd say she's not the most lesser known. I don't know. I also would. I would be cool to see Tree draw Jen though. So we'll see. Thank you, Tree. Go give her suggestions. Next up, from Ayelita. Feeling a lot better and whipped up a quick key of Sonic and Chip. When I get when I got the game, I hated the Werehog levels, but now that time's passed, I'd like to go back and actually finish it since it's been years of sitting on the shelf. Uh, which yeah. version did you have, Ailita? Did you have the 360 PS3 one or did you have the Wii PS2 one? Yeah, the Wii one. Okay. Yeah, give it a shot. Give it a shot. Like I said, I preferred the 360 one, but I saw some people saying they think the Wii one's better, so. Depends on who you ask. Disembodied head siblings. Nasu on the egg pack server commented on the Buru insert design that I posted with disembodied head sibling. I thought the idea was super cute, so I drew this up. Oh, this is super cute. Look at them two. Nicely done, Raven. And nicely done, Nasu. Enjoy you two. Next up. <laughs> I should have known this would happen. Since you showed that picture of Cassie on a bike, Rosa John on a bike. Aerodynamic. Sorry, aerodynamical. I like how she's like, this is the worst idea. <laughs> I'm wearing a bike suit that I can't fully zip up. I can't see my hands, nor most of the road. This is dangerous. I can fly. Why am I using a motorcycle? That's the thought process I hear right now. Thank you, Tiger. She already has airbags, she's fine. See, that's just too easy at that point. That's just the easy joke at that point. So would the bike fall forward? No, Tiger upped her ass mass too, so she's... If anything, it looks like she's popping the tire in the back because she's just, she's a little too heavy. Thank you, Tiger. Next up. Ooh, this is a party. I saw this one on Twitter the other day from Gaia. I guess Pon Pon's kaiju wrestling match went too hard and crashed the stream. I wasn't gonna post the line art in the Buru, but Pon Pon was summoned, so deal with it. Here we got uh, Pon Pon wrestling Lucy while, oh shoot, what was the name of it? Yeah, Lucius Valentine is watching off in the distance. Kaiju Fight Club, thank you Gaia, this is very nice. She's actually safer because her mass limits the top speed, that's also true. Also true. Quick refresh check, and we actually, whoa, there's a couple. First off from Rhyme. <laughs> I'm doing a sort of storyboard animation of the egg by Tails Faraga, with permission, of course. Little Beefaroo with an Ackley juice. Oh, he looks so happy. He wiggling his tail and everything. Adorable Rhyme. Yes, very cute. If you notice, the bike was smoking because the engine was working too hard. I missed the smoke over here. Yep, that makes sense. I was, uh, that's why I noticed the tire buckling. <laughs> oh, oh my god! <laughs> oh, I didn't expect the full thing like this. Oh my god, from Metachoke, holy shit. Context, Proton John's creation in Kerbal Space Program looked like a Gradius boss, and I was bored. Meta, this looks amazing! Holy shit! Holy shit! This is great! Yes, it looks very good. Yeah, Rosa riding on a bullet bill, got a little Luma with her. Shooting the boss. This is great! And now I really fucking want to play Parodius. 
so maybe I'm gonna go play Parodius after the stream. We'll see. Thank you so much. And the last picture I've got here for one last refresh check for the night from Elegant Raven. So I was looking at the Johniverse wiki and I saw that Orc John design I made had a page, which I wasn't expecting, so I decided to draw her again. Still trying to settle on a design for her I 100% like, slowly getting there. Cool. Yeah, no, uh, Mooch and the team at the Johniverse wiki have been doing a great job of kind of making separate pages for all the different uh, alt Johns. They've done a fantastic job. Hats off to them. I'm Metachoke and you're welcome. Elf Drago, thank you so much. Like I said, that fucking rules. Is that your first post there too? That is your first post. That's a good first post, damn. Thank you for that. And again, thank you, Elegant Raven, for for the Orc John redesign. And we're done for the night. I guess I actually am not gonna go play Gradius after the stream, because I actually have to re-edit tonight's stream to get it re-uploaded. Uh Cool. Let's talk about schedule for those few people that are still here. Tomorrow, around 4 p.m. Mountain Time, uh, my first LP video in a long time is going up. So, uh, LP videos will resume again on my YouTube channel, youtube.com slash protonjohn. So, go check that out. Uh, tomorrow is Thursday, so Top Down Perspective is also in the evening. So my podcast over at twitch.tv slash Top Down Perspective. Friday, for the next little bit, is going to have absolutely nothing on it, if I can help it. Because I need to make sure I can balance my schedule correctly before I start trying to sneak in the Friday streams again. Uh, Saturday is regular fortune cookie. Sunday is when the first highlight reel, full full month highlight reel, is going up on the, the YouTube channel as well. It will be from August 2019, so it's going to be a ways back. It's going to have the uh, bunch of art I picked out from that month's art submissions, so you may see arts and names that you recognize on there as well at the end, plus a lot of scenes you might have forgot. I definitely was not expecting one of the first clips to be going up, uh, to be me playing with the voice changer, but that's how life goes sometimes. And let's make sure that it's clear once again, that's not Proton John SA. The YouTube channel is finally Proton John. I think Proton John SA still redirects there? Let's find out. It did the other day when I checked. Yes, it does. So both youtube.com slash Proton John and youtube.com slash Proton John SA both direct to my channel. So both will work. So if you have the old links, don't worry too much. But yeah, that's the plan there. Monday is we start the misadventures of Tronbon. Yay! That, that is Bubba's choice and Karibro's choice from the mod team. So we'll be playing the misadventures of Tronbon for the next couple Mondays. Uh, that's pretty much it for the loop at that point because nothing on Tuesdays and Wednesday will next Wednesday will likely be high risk. Sorry, I had to pause for a second to think about that. Yeah, it'll be high risk. Sweet. Folks, what's our raid message? Uh, that's a good question. We got keep hey, what, what is, Wait, hold, hold the phone. What the fuck is that, sla that exclamation YT command? Wonder what John's last YouTube video was? Well, here you go. An error occurred retrieving videos for channel Proton John. Well, when you said it, your YouTube channel uh, changed from Proton John SA, I edited the command. Apparently, it's not working for SA. Uh, Appar for, apparently, right. you should still set that back to SA then. <laughs> apparently, you should leave that as SA for now. Can't, e even in like a small, like extra 20, 27 minute clip after the end of the stream, still can't fucking... Still can't fucking... <laughs> God damn it. Uh, I guess we're rating with Key? Yeah, I think Key's the winner. Yeah. Alright, who is still alive? That's a good question. Uh, 
Alex wasn't so far in loop here. Oh, I would have rated them. LNR is playing more Mario Kart again. That man is addicted. Oh, you know what? It's an easy question at that point. We did... We did Power Trip. Let's go give credit to the guy we took the idea from. Good old Shrum. Shroomy is streaming his uh, version, which is Community Tuesday. Or sorry, Community Tuesday. But he has to do them on Wednesdays now because he can't stream on Tuesdays anymore. So go give Shroomy some love. NR1. What's NR1? Looks like he's playing uh, Gauntlet 2 right now. He this this is probably his last game of the night knowing him, but we've definitely probably forced him to do one more. Kaka! 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 I don't know what we're doing. Um are we just making random bird noises now? Is that is that what is that what we is that what we've been reduced to, John? Is that our is that our friendship now? We just make bird noises at each other. Yes. <sighs> Fine, whatever. <laughs> I'll allow it. Go give Shroomy some love. He's a good dude. Um, uh, I'll see you tomorrow on YouTube, which is a weird thing to say. That's it's been a long that's, time. It's, uh, it's, it's bird law. I it's, I hopefully it's you guys are cool with it. Do? It. I've learned if I'm bad at anything, it's the first episode of a series. But I'm gonna say I watched the fourth episode of the LP last night, and I laughed my ass off during it. So uh, maybe it'll be okay. See you guys tomorrow. Bye, everybody. Bye, everyone.